Welcome back, everyone, to another Gore Made Auction. A special shout out to Patreon members Barry K, James Palmer, Tom Edwards, Andrew Dorsey, John D, and Darren C for making these things possible. Dwight wins it. Dwight's in there first. Uh, how are you guys doing? I just saw all of you. Oh, hey. We'll call it a wash then. <laughs> Even Steven. Um, look at all you guys. Blombeard is back. Finally, Blombeard, we get to see a little bit more of you this weekend. Always nice. Hey, Alex, how are you doing? So it was a it was a mad dash around here between uh, where I left you guys and uh, right now trying to get some of your cards organized, situated, packed up. And my goodness, it has been a uh, busy, busy weekend. Uh, Barry, um, Barry's decided to get us all started off on the right foot with a little bat down hunting. Um, so Barry. Uh, I've laid it out for you. This is what we got. So you can pick uh, pick which one is, is speaking to you. Hey, Kevin, how are you doing? Kevin, big night tonight. Right blaster pack four. Gotcha. And for the rest of you, uh, this is everything. So this is all of my uh, Series 2 that is left. Um, so, Kevin, that's all right, James. Don't sweat it, buddy. Uh, uh, oh, where was I at there? Kevin, um, so tonight, you're going to have to remind people about the uh, the hows and whys uh, when it comes to paying, and you are also going to need to keep track of what things wind up selling for, all right? Um, I'll keep track uh, as best I can on my end, but it's going to be easier for you, and then at the end of the night, we will make sure that everything is paid for um, before anything is shipped out. Um, the other thing to keep in mind, um, the free shipping thing really only works out if the Patreon member who buys the card is already receiving a shipment. Um, because if they're not, then they're going to need to wind up paying uh, for the auction cards to ship. Sound good? So much temptation, Jonathan. So much temptation. Um, all right, Barry. Uh, Barry, you are all squared up uh, as far as this goes. So, which one would you like to see first, Barry? Hey, Tom. Fat, then fatter. Fantastic. Let's get into it. So we got old Bryce Harper. We know we're looking for the Acuna back down. And we're also looking for uh, maybe a Glaber Torres SSP would also be nice. And if we pull an auto, uh, that works too. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, Greg Garcia. It's been a 2018 Tops weekend. We've opened a bunch. John Jay. A diving Corey Seeger. Brandon Geyer, I believe. Eric Thames. Daniel Nava. Alex Cobb. Carlos Ramirez, the Toronto Blue Jays, whoa, there's a big time card with, that is bizarre, can you guys see that, they must have had a, a leak, I'm going to change that focus, they must have had a leak in the foiling system, that stripe is actually foil, you might no, it's 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 foil, it's silver foil printing. Um, I mean, you have to throw that on eBay. That's an eBay one of one error right there. Um, 
Jonathan, I saw a question pop up right as I was clicking the button. So right now I'm looking at a blue uh, Logitech screen. Um, so I can't see anything. So feel free to, uh, you guys can talk all the smack you want for the next probably 20 seconds. You got to change this stupid autofocus um, because it is awful. Okay, now I'm back. Ha, ah, I see what you're saying. Um, how many fat packs or boxes of 18 Series 2 are left? Uh, here we go. Um, two blasters and one, two, three, seven fat packs. Yeah. Uh, that's a weird one, Barry. That's, that is a weird, weird mishap there. But thank you. That's an eBay one of one error. Robert Selman. Alex Gordon, Jace Peterson, okay, sounds good, air card worth a thousand dollars, that's on the low end, that's, that's somebody sniped an auction at a thousand dollars, okay, Aaron Judge, Gary Carter, Aaron Hicks, Foil. Anthony Rendon, home run challenge. Might be a little late on that one. Jeff Bagwell. Alex Bregman. Joey Rickard. Bradley Zimmer, future star. Yolmer Sanchez. Wade Davis. Danny Santana. Tony Walters. Yes, I, you know, a sweet version of uh, Back to the Future. I need to get all the, the records and then go back and do some sweet gambling. Josh Fields, Gaddis, JV, Justin Turner, Yu Darvish, Jimmy Nelson, Jose Barrios, Jordan Montgomery, cup card, and David Price. So no bat down, but we did get a Matt Chapman 4 SP. Bregman, and a Bagwell, not numbered. Home run challenge card, Aaron Hicks, Carter, and Judge. And what did I miss? Does he? Turner follows Verlander. Well, man, uh, he definitely upgraded who follows him uh, in the next round. Okay, fat. Here we go. So is the Chapman a common error or rare or even considered? Uh, Tiger Eagle, it's probably nothing. Um, things like that, where it's just like an honest printing mistake. Uh, it's, it's really nothing. Uh, there's cards where they have weird kind of printing blobs. Um, if it's not on any like large quantity of cards, it's really, it's really just not anything. Um, when you go on eBay though, uh, it, it's easy to be, to, to be misled that, uh, it's actually some kind of grand error. Cause you'll see people charging, Ridiculous amounts, but that's that's just not reality. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a one of one on purpose. You know what I mean? So it's not really the same thing. Here you go, Barry. You get some coupons. So 2018 Series 2 packs, you can get a dollar off. Let's see. Oh, expired by uh, just over a year. We're so close. Hey, GP. All right. Uh, Barry, when do you want to do your uh, your fancy patch card? You want to do that last, first? Now. I love it. Let's do it.
So we got Jose Abreu, White Sox, with the American flag patch card. We got a Robinson Cano. Hey, the hobbyist. Okay, so we got a Jose Abreu. Okay, here we go. Come on, bat down. I'm going to be so pumped if we get a bat down or that Glaber. Okay, we got Solaire, Stephen Wright, Johan Camargo, Arizona Diamondbacks team card, Buster Posey insert, Aaron Judge insert, Wade Davis, Tyler Anderson, Matt Davidson, Albert Pujols, Baseball card day. Come on. Okay. Mike Whiters. Weeters, maybe. Alex Claudio. If he was better, we'd all know how to pronounce his name. Pittsburgh Pirates team card. The Manny Machado walk-offs, Paul DeYoung, and so you guys kind of get this, right? Two back-to-backs of something generally means one is either numbered. This one, you can see in the background that it is a different color, Weeders. So it's not numbered, but you can tell that it is a, it is a different parallel based on the background coloring of the star. That's a nice Clinton Frazier. Yep, Barry, they just make it difficult. Danny Santana, Dwight Smith Jr., Lori Garcia, and Manny Pina. Hey, Shane, welcome back. Yeah, they got sneaky with that background coloring parallel thing, uh, Barry. Okay, we got Yachty Molina. It probably would be. All smiles. Probably would be Ben Gamble. Hey, we got a Cubs foil. Albert Almora. That's a nice uh, foil. Corey Seager, instant impact. Aaron Judge, highlights card. Cameron Maven. Travis Wood. Jose Urena and Kenta Maeda. That's a nice card. I always thought that the foils almost looked more exclusive than the golds did. Um, but as we all know, the foils are not numbered and the golds are. Yeah, Kulsina, you had a pretty good weekend, though. We got Joe Panic and middle infield Marvels. Josh Harrison, Tony Watson, nice Josh Hader gold cup card, nice landscape card at that. And Nomar Mazzara, and again, kind of the different color backgrounds. So tricky. Uh, another thing that they did on some of them, uh, let me show you. Notice the uh, notice the swoosh line is a different color. Uh, <laughs> you can start to see where the uh, hidden Santas in the background came from. Jacob Degrom, Sam Dyson, Jorge Bonifacio, and Nicholas Castellanos. Yeah, they are. I definitely agree with the uh, the mustard. You just know, Barry, that somebody is over there at Tops just nerding out. Uh, the same guy who makes the uh, "Can you see the difference?"
puzzles in highlights magazines. I'm sure of it. Okay, Taylor Williams. Taylor Motter. Lorenzo Cain. Jacoby Jones. Daniel Descalso. George Springer All-Star insert. Aaron Judge insert. Got a nice looking Bryce Harper, the Nats. Matt Garza and Ryan Healy. Uh oh. Barry Barry kicked a hornet's nest. All the kids are having an uprising now. Go easy on Barry. Maybe he just maybe he just thinks of you guys as older than kids, and he's kind of giving you the young adult status. Did you guys ever think of that? Hmm? Before you get out your pitchforks at uh Mr. Mr. Barry K, maybe he was trying to give you credit. You guys didn't think of it that way, huh? Mind blown. Zing. Danny Valencia. Matt Bush. You're welcome, Barry. Giovanni Gallardo. There you go. Sell it. Everybody likes a good controversy. Marcus Stroman. Orlando Arcia. And you can see again. Back-to-backs, one noticeably darker. I'm really starting to hate you, Tops. <laughs> Luis Gohara. J.C. Ramirez. Doug Fister. And Zach Greinke. Who thinks that Hinch pulled him out too early. Let's start. Let's get, let's move on from the kid controversy to to Granky getting pulled out of the game too soon. He did have a one hitter going there for quite some time. We're cutting into Bear, uh, Terry's beauty sleep. <laughs> yeah, for the other team. Terry, how is the moving going? Are you about all done? Brian Goodwin. Tyler Clippert. Luis Castillo. Carson Fulmer. Kansas City Royals. And what do we got here? Giancarlo Stanton. 470 foot, 77 foot home run. With the weirdest looking face guard. Oh, and there's a black. Victor Robles, the black background. Very nice. Gregor Blanco, Jake Arietta, and Jason Vargas. All of Houston's analytics and computer model said to remove Zach. There you go. Well, the computers have spoken. You don't want to piss off the computers. You all saw Terminator. Wonderful documentary about what happens to computers in the future. They will just run amok. Okay, Paul DeYoung. Victor Caratini. We have the awards show, Stanton and Judge. Jacob Faria. There is a nice gold, an Andrew Benatendi, Future Stars, Mustard Gold. Yeah, I do believe it, but hopefully when you get it all situated, uh, it'll be well worth it. It's a cool looking card, I'll give it that though. And a Benatendi Gold Cup card uh, doesn't hurt either. Corey Seager, Future Stars. And we got Barry's favorite cub, Addison Russell. And we've got the Benatendi base card. I know you can't stand Addison Russell. 
This is also true. Uh, good call on the Dellen comment. Santiago, Casilla, and Freddie Freeman. Two packs to go still. There's still hope. I can't help but look for Santa Hats. Yes, Gore, we have an active channel in 10 years. In 10 years' time, I will be able to teleport to each of your houses, and we will have just a personal face-to-face -face card talk. Or you guys can all teleport to me, and we'll have a party. That's In 10 years' time, that's got to be doable. We'll park our flying cars outside. Uh, you never know. We'll be collecting just actual human baseball players by that point. DNA scrounged from on-card autos. Um, we, we, we have the technology. Ryan Sheriff, Andre Ethier, Ethier, Araldis Chapman. Seems like we've been seeing a lot of him this weekend. Domingo Santana. Uh, yes, Shalaney, a couple of boxes. Andrew McCutcheon, Aaron Judge insert. Drew Pomeranz, Brad Brock, Jim Johnson, and Azdrubal Cabrera. Yes, you might get your, you might get your power shut down mid transport, and man, that would be messy. I've seen enough Star Trek to know that uh, you don't want to be messed up in a, in a a transporter mishap. Oh, uh oh. What'd Parker do? Parker do something wrong? All right, here we go. Nice looking Adam Eaton. Justin Wilson. Caleb Joseph. Might be a good sign that we got to some middle cards early. Mike Clevenger. And Addison Russell again. Two back-to-back -back ones. You'll notice the blue swoosh. Tyler Mall. Not numbered. Derek Holland. I think you know where this is headed. David Robertson. Tommy Joseph. And Herman Marquez and National Baseball Card Day about a year too late. Well, I think we kind of kind of knew that a bat down would be would be difficult. Um, it is an SSP after all, so we got a bunch of the future stars, Clevenger, a bunch of Judge inserts, Addison Russell, whom you hate, Corey Seager, Ben Attendee Gold, a black Victor Robles rookie. Nice. Stanton, Future Star, Segura, the black uh, background, Arcia, another judge, Springer, DeGrom, Clint Frazier, and that's the black variation, Mazzara, Judge again, Seeger, Albert Almora, Foil, DeYoung, Future Star, Machado, Judge, Posey, and then a bunch of other good things. They are long shots, but man, when uh, when you hit them, uh, it all becomes worth it. All right, well, Barry, thank you, uh, thank you for playing along, and thanks for letting us get to get to see that um, before we got this auction fight up. Uh oh. Oh, I forgot you did have a little competition with uh, your your cubbies. Don't forget your Jose Abreu patch card. Okay, <clears throat> so Kevin, uh, Kevin, did you already explain to people um, what's going on? It is auction time. Uh, a couple seconds. Kevin, did you already explain? And everybody knows the PayPal. Um, Kevin, just real quick, um, you explain while everyone else is hitting the thumbs up button, the 
besides the eight of you that didn't hate me? Sorry guys, I'm just I'm uh, sending something uh, to one of you. I do apologize. I know that dead air is uh, never fun. All right. Uh, one of you just got a, a, a text. And I typed a little explanation uh, just so you could see where I'm coming from. Um, okay, where are we at? Uh, PayPal members, yep, that is that is a thing. Um, oh, Paul, thank you, um, thank you for doing that. Yeah, uh, Tiger Eagle, um, you are. Um, I was just kind of waiting for the first of the month, um, and now that we've eclipsed that. Um, you have your rights as a moderator and you've kind of proven yourself to be a, uh, only 17 Dwight G's. Okay. I'm so excited, Kevin. I think this is going to be a huge success and everyone knows what's going on. Um, and I'm going to be writing this down. Um, uh okay okay so the first the first two he's a he's a head he's out there okay so the first one up is a lot and it is a lot of Reese Hoskins rookies. We have the 2018 archives. We have the 2018 Bowman. We have the 2018 Bowman birthdays. The starting price for all of these Reese Hoskins rookie cards is one dollar. One dollar. Yes, Tiger Eagle, that is correct. There is a chance. Okay, so James is in at one dollar. It's 33 cents a card. Even less if you factor in the penny sleeves, I'm sorry, nickel sleeves and the 58 cent top loaders. So I got one dollar to James. Two dollars for Barry. 
you guys all know that if he offered you this one card for one dollar, you'd be like, okay, so three dollars is not crazy. Darren C is out of money. He just bought a oh, I'm confused. An FF card. Uh clarify, I don't know what that is. All right, Darren, we will take it easy. Hey, Paul Curry is has joined the crew. Two and a half. I like it. Oh, awesome. I like the sound of that. Okay. So where are we at? We're at 250. 250 to Jonathan H. Paul is now a member of the team. Who knows what's going to go on now, Paul? All bets are off. Still 250. Okay, uh, Jonathan, I didn't see it. Let's let's finish this up. So, Jonathan, right now you're the high at 250. Uh, if nobody else um, comes in at three dollars, I'm going to go ahead and give Jonathan the old countdown. Okay, here we go. Jonathan H at 250 going once. Jonathan H at 250 going twice. Jonathan H, 250. Third and final time. Sold. Jonathan H. Very nice. Jonathan picked up three Reese Hoskins for $2.50. Is that the uh, one out of 45, uh, Jonathan, that I think I made a reference to it this morning? That's a pretty big, that was a big card. Um, how many did he open? Dallas, that's a that's a big time card. I can't believe how low number uh, they put in there. That's pretty sweet. You only opened two boxes and you got one that quickly. That's pretty impressive. All right. Uh, so, Jonathan, I, I guess I should take that as a yes. Um, hopefully you could see uh, the way that I did the math and that felt uh, felt good to you. Um, OK, Kevin, next card lot. We've got another lot, couple of rookies, both pitchers. Jack Flaherty out of 2018 Bowman, Walker Bueller out of 2018 Bowman, and starting bid one dollar. One dollar for a Walker Bueller rookie. One dollar for a Jack Flaherty rookie. Put them together, you get seventeen. That's basically the way that I see. That's math. That's California math. James Palmer is a tie at one, but Oliver still gets it. Yes, it is. It is two very legit pitchers, two rookie cards. Uh, nice cards to have being Bowman. James is at two buck a piece. Really 30 cents a piece when you factor in all the, the hardware that comes with these. So James is getting a steal. James, James would pay two dollars just for the top loaders and penny sleeves. You know what I mean? James is getting the cards are for free, basically. So James, we're at two buck a piece. Nothing wrong there. Cool Cena is raising the bid to one tiger. So James is at two bucks and Cool Cena bids one tiger. Uh, Oliver is at 250. I think 250 is more than a tiger. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on if it's an angry tiger or a cute little cub tiger. You never know. 250 to Oliver. 275 to James. 
Come on, Oliver. Does Oliver have 276? 276 to Oliver. We can start cutting pennies in half. Maybe some bronze shavings. One crumpled up aluminum can that we can go recycle and get our five cents CRV. We're taking anything. Kevin doesn't care. Okay, <laughs> Oliver's taking a back seat to this one. James is at 275. James going once. James. Rubles. I'm going to bet yen, 50,000 yen. James going twice. Last chance for James, 275. Sold. All right, James, 275 for a couple of nice pitchers. And I don't know... Uh, I don't know what you guys were planning on doing, um, but since since you're going to be uh, paying to me, um, it would be kind of nice if you would wait and then uh, do it all at once um, just because uh, my phone's going to just keep buzzing, although that might be funny to you. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have said that out loud. Trout didn't win a gold glove, and it's my understanding that he's actually never won a gold glove. Is that correct? That is the one, one thing that he has never, never won? I'll tell you what I won. I won a Mark McGuire um, autograph, and it's fantastic. What I want to know is, will Matt Chapman win another platinum glove? That's what I want to know. My man deserves it. Okay, next up. Next up. We got Fernando Tatis Jr. Bowman trending. It's amazing. I did win an 87 Fleer Conseco. I won all kinds of Consecos. James Palmer's at five. Holy moly. I didn't even get to say the starting bid. Starting bid was $17. So James, I'll just convert five to 17. So James is in at 17. Does anybody have 18? Okay. 1750. Sorry. I'll, I'll take it down a notch. All right. James is at five. Who's got 550? Clark. Clark Sports Cards just bet $101, if I'm reading that correctly. $101 is the bid to beat. $6 to Michael Padgett. It's not quite $101, but we'll take it. So $6 to Michael P. Who's got $7? $6 and some pocket lint. Come on. Yeah, it was kind of fun to try to spot them. Although we opened that 18 um, Series 2 and got to play spot the difference on those too. So it's not numbered, is it? Um, wow. It's it's actually an unnumbered, probably a hot SP, probably a hot rookie card, a real cool card. $6 to Michael P. That's the high bid right now. Six dollars to Michael P going once. I like it. eBay one of one right here. Six dollars to Michael P going twice. Six dollars to Michael Paget for the third and final time. Sold. Michael P six bucks. Awesome. And Kevin, I'm just going to go ahead and take this time to say it again that you, sir, did a wonderful job of putting together um, the, the pack of cards that you did, man. You did a fantastic job. Ooh, a good A's auto. Nothing wrong with a good A's auto. And this is a fun one. One of these we saw this weekend. One of these I don't feel like you run across very often. And that one is going to be a 2018 Archives Tops Future Stars Trio Angels. Otani, Bridwell, and Scribner, along with a 2018 update. Justin Upton, Shohei Otani, Mike Trout, next stop, stardom. 
Uh, actually, next stop is in your PC. Next stop is in your PC with a starting bid of one dollar. Two Otanis for a dollar. Come on. Come on. One dollar to Oliver. Solid bid. Two to Dwight. There we go. Now we're getting it. This is a really cool card. I don't you don't see this card all too often. And the only reason we see this one is because we just opened all those um, eight update packs. But uh, both cool cards. Two dollars to Dwight. Do I hear two fifty? Two fifty for a couple of Otani cards. There we go, Barry. Two fifty for two Otani rookie cards. Maybe we should be focusing on uh, Parker Bridwell here, huh? Maybe he's the next big thing, or maybe the controversy of putting Justin Upton in the back like that. Somebody somewhere is triggered. Three dollars to Dwight. They don't even have like a fancy golf cart. That's a shame. You would have thought they would be like living it up down there. One of those cool carts. It looks like a little Ferrari or something. But no. Okay, $3 to Dwight. If I don't hear $3.50 in the next one and a half second, I'm going to start the countdown. And here we go. $3 to Clark Sports Cards going once. He does look dejected back there. Three dollars to Clark Sports Cards going twice. Three dollars to Dwight and Clark Sports Cards for the third and final time. Soldsville. A couple of Otanis. Okay, we're gifting the golf cart to Vader. Very nice of you, sir. Yeah, like I said, man, I, I don't think I've ever really seen that uh, that Future Stars card. Cool, Cena. I, I do want to know who it is, but I don't want to spoil a surprise you might have, so I, I didn't want to say anything. Hey, Mark. No power. What are you, what are you doing a, a California impersonation over there? <clears throat> okay, our next... One up. Oh, this is a cool one. Especially since you've been seeing a lot of him on the MLB network. All right, cool, Cena. I'm not going to stop you, buddy. 1993 Fleer Ultra Pedro Martinez. Rookie card. Starting bid. One dollar. Ooh, Matt Olson. Cool, Cena. That is an awesome card. That's awesome. Thank you, sir. We could use the rain. So Dwight is the first one. Nope. Michael P is at three. Oh, my goodness. All came at the same time. Michael P wins it. Awesome. Okay. Jonathan H is at four. Four dollars for the Pedro Martinez rookie card. And just a nice looking. Five to Michael P. I actually like watching him. I think as a player, he had a little bit of an attitude. But watching him uh, do kind of. Color commentary and, and uh, analysis. I really like watching them. James has the card. Michael P is at $5. Does anybody have $5.50? I'm still thinking of that Matt Olson card. Man, that's awesome. I don't know that I have any of 2018 uh, tops five star. So Michael P is the high bidder at $5. If I don't hear $5.50 soon, I'm going to start counting down. And here we go. Michael P is at $5 going once. Michael P is at $5 going twice. Yeah, exactly. Throwing old dudes on the ground. Oh, man, I forgot about that until you brought it up. 
Third and final time, Michael Padgett at five dollars for the Pedro Martinez rookie card, and it is sold. Nice score, Michael Padgett. Very nice. Yeah, I remember. He, well, he, I mean, he was kind of in a in a crappy situation. If I remember the way that it all went down, I mean, uh, Zimmer like kind of rushed at him, and he kind of kind of pushed him to the side. And obviously, old man being old man, uh, he just he just ate it. Uh, and then he looked just like the worst human being ever after that. I think had he like had he rushed up to him and threw him on the ground, that's something. But uh, well, Shalaney, thank you. Yeah, yeah, it was. I don't know what he was supposed to do. I just think that you know it was unfortunate that him being so old lost his balance so easily, and uh, it just you just know that it, he looked awful right from the get go. Shalaney, thank you very much for uh joining on to our little Patreon family here. We already kind of thought of you as part of the family, but uh, you just went ahead and put a ring on it. Yeah, that was, that might've been all the way, that might've been all the way soccer style, uh, Dwight. Oh, look at Terry, the Jenna J reference. I, I, I have, I have no clue who that is. Terry, and as long as my wife is watching, that's the story I'm sticking to. Jenna who? What? I uh, never heard of her. Um, okay, one second. Let me get the next lot up, and then let me field some questions. Terry is working on my divorce as he speaks. Thank you for that. Uh, cool scene is going to be back in 20 minutes. What did I miss? Uh, Shalini, um, the new ones are 26 bucks, which I mean, you can, you can do the basic math on that. I think that in the end, I come out about $1 ahead of what they cost in the store. So maybe a buck in saved gas for you. Um, and then I have 2018 holiday boxes and, uh, Jonathan H kind of set the price on that at 30 bucks, which is about 10 bucks cheaper than eBay. All depends on who you are after. Um, and then, all right, Alex, take it easy, bud. And then Shalini, the only thing that would, um, and you and I can talk about it after the fact would just be, uh, the shipping, um, just because I, I know that right now uh, you don't have anything um, from me coming. And if you don't need the cards right away, it definitely makes it cheaper to uh, wait a couple, <clears throat> wait a couple times, a couple weeks. Take who takes baths? I don't got time for all that. I go out smelling like a man. All right, here we go. Next round. We got. Raffy Devers, 2018 rookie card, and that's out of Bowman, as well as a 2018 Bowman Chrome rookie of the year. Favorites spelled the Canadian way. $1 starting bid. Well, fellow Justin, I appreciate that as well. You guys are awesome. And uh, please don't take if I if I don't get to like uh, talk to you, send you a message right away. Um, I will, because that is kind of the whole idea of the channel is to definitely be a little community. So, uh, Justin, uh, thank you very much for joining. Um, let me get through this one. And then somebody reminded me to throw a wrench uh, Justin's way. Anywho, let's get back to Raffy Devers starting bid of one dollar. And then Shlaney, uh, let me answer that question again. Uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's do this. Uh, welcome. Here we go. Raffy Devers. It's two of them. Paper, Chrome, three fifty to Oliver. He just came out. He came out firing. Jeez. Okay, Jonathan H. Four dollars. 
Now, four dollars to Jonathan H. Check the couch cushions, Oliver. You got twenty-five cents in there. You got fifty cents in there. Come on, come on. I know you do. Four dollars to Jonathan H. Is the high bid. Four dollars to Jonathan H. You guys are correct, Shane and Terry. Four dollars to Jonathan H. If I don't hear anything soon, I'm going to start the countdown. There we go, Barry K. Barry K was taking a nap. We woke him up. Five dollars to Barry K for the Raffy Devers's pack. Raffy Devervi. Five dollars to Barry K for two Raffy Devers. And here we go. Five dollars to Barry K for two Raffy Devers going once. Five dollars to Barry K for two Raffy Devers going twice. Five dollars to Barry K for the third and final time sold. And then let me, I will make a note. And then I will address some questions. Barry, thank you. Move my Matt Chapman one of one. Okay, real quick, let me answer some questions. Um, so Shalini, uh, they charge PayPal. Oh, Jesus. Patreon charges you the first of the month. So if you signed up today, you basically would just get all the all the rights of a Patreon member. Um, I obviously haven't had a chance to look at it. I don't know what tier you signed up for, and that's not really the point, I guess. But um, you're a Patreon member now, so you are. You can do cards with or packs with friends. You can do auctions, and um, it's totally fine. Uh, it's like I said, it, it doesn't even really. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm just happy to have you. So um, if you were to get stuff tonight. And, and when you're talking about a holiday box, that would kind of be a carryover of packs with friends. So basically what I would do for the, the folks who do not receive a package, it's the shipping is $4 and you would do $4 on one weekend and then the next weekend, $4 again. And I'd put those two together and that covers a flat rate. And that way I can put just about anything you need in there. If you don't want to buy anything, let's say next weekend, and then I hold it for you until the next one, then those would be your two weeks. The whole idea, keep the shipping costs as low as possible at one time. I just hold the cards for a little bit longer. I combine the shipping and you get all your stuff. Um, the only thing would be like, let's say Oliver gets a shipment from me as part of his Patreon tier on that last week, he wouldn't pay the $4 because it's kind of worked into his Patreon tier price anyway. So hopefully that all makes sense. And uh, Justin, that would kind of go for you too. Um, and there you go. Matthew's coin and card collecting, how are you doing? So hopefully that all makes sense. Um, sorry to to give a, a quick rush explanation like that, but uh, you've been hanging out with us. So I know you, you kind of get it. Okay, so next up, just think of all the money you would save opening 1990 Bowman packs. You could just get your Frank Thomas rookie card fix right here, right now. Starting bid, $2. And just think of all the gum I would not have to eat. $2 was the starting bid price. $2.50 to Alan Scott. $2 going backwards. What is happening? We are, we are, no, what's going on? Dallas F, there you go. Redeeming my faith in math. $4 to Alan Scott. Exactly. Look at that. Those pearly whites. Come on. Uh-oh. Tom, what are you doing? Thought we were friends. I'm going to have a... I'm going to need to call Michael P. to come over to save me from a gum choking disease. Okay, $4 to Alan Scott for the Big Hurt 1990 Bowman rookie card. It's about as good as they get. 
Thank you, Shlaney. You knew that I was really up with a little reverse psychology on you. Okay, $4 to Allen for the Big Hurt rookie card. And I got, here we go. $4 to Allen Scott for the 1990 Frank Thomas going once. $4 to Allen Scott for the Big Hurt going twice. $4 for the Big Hurt Hall of Famer. Third and final time. Sold. So, Mr. Alan Scott. Large bore needles? No. Don't they make like a gummy, some kind of a gummy vitamin that I could eat? It would be just as good. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of ice cream slash lollipop treat that I could have in lieu of needles. That's just modern medicine, man. You're doing things old school. Oh, yeah. 91. It's a vintage year for gum. <clears throat> Speaking of 91, we've got the 1991 Chipper Jones. First... Number or sorry, number one draft pick, Chipper Jones, 91 tops, starting bid, one buck. Who doesn't like a Chipper Jones rookie card? Two bucks to Tiger Eagle. Three to James Palmer. I can't get over how young he looks in this picture. Four dollars to GP. Cool scene is back. Tom is at five. James with a tie. Terry, tie. That was a late tie there, Terry. You're enjoying your, your new place a little too much, I think. There we go. Terry's back at seven. Terry wants the chipper. Eight dollars to Tom. You did a very good job, sir. These are universally appealing cards, Kevin. Well done. Holy moly, Terry comes back at 10. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I really do hope that whoever's buying this is buying it for themselves. $10 to Terry Dakota. Terry is going all in on the Chipper Jones rookie card. $10.50 to Tom. That's like a squeeze bunt play right there. $10.50 to Tom Edwards. Where are we at? 1050 to Tom Edwards. Ten fifty to Tom Edwards going once. Ten <laughs> Oh Terry. Ten fifty to Tom Edwards going twice. Ten fifty. Tom Edwards, third and final time, sold. Ooh, that was a low blow. He, he went there. All right. So Tom steals a chipper at 1050. And just think, up until now, everyone was so cordial about the World Series. Uh-oh. All right. So this next one uh, is Vlad's normal Chrome or Chrome update worth more? Uh, that's a good question. I would say they're probably fairly equivalent, um, Matthews. Although, 
The Chrome update being a Target exclusive has a little more exclusivity than the regular Topps Chrome. So it's really just kind of an eye of the beholder thing. The real one you want is the Series 2 no numbered uh, paper. And Tiger, I would have sent cards in early. My parents would have given me. Well, I hear you. Uh, you want to keep your parents on your good side, uh, Tiger Eagles card collecting, especially when it comes to uh, spending money on baseball cards. And enough chitter chat. This one is going to be a no hold barred, no friends on this auction round. And that's why one of the cleanest 1989 tops traded Ken Griffey Jr. rookie. We're already at 10. 10 bucks to Michael P. Yet this card is a very, very nice card and in very, very good condition. Dallas F is at 11. It is nice. Is the, say that again, is the top right corner good? Yes. The top right corner is good. $12 to Mark K. $13 to Michael P. Yep, Tiger Eagle. Uh, you got to know uh, when to uh, when to give up the battle, and uh, that might be time. And we are back, I believe. If this is the rookie card, and this is not one that you could have gotten out of packs, you had to get the set of tops traded. So Dallas F is at fourteen. If I don't hear something soon, I'm going to begin the countdown. And Dallas F is the high bid right now. And here we go. Dallas F at $14 going once. Dallas F at $14 going twice. Mr. Foster is about to take it home for $14. Third and final time. Sold. Awesome. Awesome card love seeing that card congratulations dallas and one little bit of housekeeping All right. Message sent. Uh, Matthew's coin and car collecting. Gord, did you find Chrome update? Oh, yeah. Uh, Matthew's, I have got it. Not sure if I missed anything. Oh, I did miss something. Why didn't you guys tell me that Dallas didn't have a, a wrenchy wrench? All right. Message received. Oh, holy crap. Uh, things are about to get good. Things is about to get real good. Uh, Dallas, or Matthews, how many do you want? That's, that's the real question. I'm pretty sure I can accommodate whatever you want, uh, Matthew's coin and card collecting. Um, Kevin? Uh, Kevin, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something real quick for this next card, okay? Because it needs it needs to be done. Oh. 
Understood, Matthew. There is uh, nothing wrong with enjoying some good old Chrome update openings. It needed one. It needed one. You are welcome. Michael P, is it $10? Michael P. is at $10. Everyone else is busy wiping their chins. Jonathan H. is at $15. 17 to GP. Paul is in at 20 22 to Terry. Michael P is out. James needs a beer. Twenty-five to Paul Curly. Curry, sorry. The nineteen ninety-three Derek Jeter. You guys saw this get pulled. Saw Tom get one of these. We're still chasing down that gold. Terry's the high bid at 26. Paul goes straight to 30. Paul is at 30. Thirty one to Terry. Alan just just woke up. Thank you. It's kind of hard to to keep track of it all. Thirty five to Paul Curry. There she is. I mean, this is the it card from 93 tops. So Paul Curry is the high man at $35. Paul, $35 going once. Paul, $35 going twice. Paul Curry, $35. Third and final time. Sold to Paul Curry. It is okay, Dellen. Let me get this all fancified. Congrats on that one, Paul. All right. So the next one up. Yeah, thanks, Barry. The next one up is definitely a current crowd. Favorite, 2018 Bowman Prospects, Ronald Acuna. Right there. Starting bid, $1. 
Starting bid of one dollar. Two bucks to Barry. Three to Dwight. Three dollars to Mark K for the tie. Dwight still gets you by a nose. Got three dollars, five dollars to Tom Edwards coming in hot with a little Acuna. Base prospect number one, right there. Okay, so Tom Edwards is the high bid at five bucks for the the Ronald Acuna Jr. 2018 Bowman. Uh, he's still here. He's probably already got this card though. I think he'd open some uh, 18. So five dollars to Tom Edwards going once. Five dollars to Tom Edwards going twice. Five dollars to Tom Edwards. Third and final time. Sold. Crazy talk. Tom got himself another one. All right. Rizzo got a gold glove. Oh, that's right. They are doing announcements tonight. Uh, if you guys could do me a favor, uh, if we could uh, maybe just hold the uh, the bid payments just until the end Now see Matt Chappie. Matt Chappie got the uh, gold glove and Matt Olson. Oh no, Tom. Usually it is. Uh, so you are right. Usually it is when it's going to somebody else. Uh, when it's going to me, I keep staring at my phone, and I know that's kind of distracting for you guys when I keep going dead air. Um, it's probably just easier for me. And Oliver, you're right on it. Starting bid one buck. No needed for you. Two Royce Lewises. Chrome and James at 350. Three fifty to James Palmer for a couple of Royce Lewis's. Louis. Lewis squared. James Palmer at 350. Do I hear four? Oliver, 375. One of the brightest young prospects the world has ever known in Minnesota. Oliver's out. James is in. James Palmer, 350 going once. James Palmer, 350 going twice. That is a good question, Dwight, that I don't know the answer to. But if you want to talk about Japanese players drafted in the NBA, I've got gotcha. you. 350 to James Palmer. Sold. <laughs> and they are going to Oliver. You guys are just out of control. Nice. Yeah, Barry, believe it or not, he was a first round draft pick. It's amazing. I'm glad I could, you know, pass on some of this knowledge to you guys. You know, I know some of you might not be as 
well versed in basketball as myself. Um, I just like to spread the knowledge, you know, love of the game. Well, James Naismith would just be so proud to see the kind of interest, you know, that people have taken in his little little peach basket game. Hey, Dwight's here, or Dwight's son is here. Awesome. Has he been big on the uh, the basketball cards, Dwight? Okay, next up. Ooh, we got another doozy. You guys know this name? One of the hottest rookies. Hey, I'm going to, is, is it Chapin? Uh, if I'm saying that wrong, please, uh, please help me out. <laughs> you got, it's nice. It's nice to have a gopher, an executive assistant. $5 to Tom Edwards. Michael Jordan batted, I think, 245 in the minors. What about Danny Ainge? I'm going to go with Danny Ainge, Terry. Oh, everybody else is going with Danny Ainge, too. I feel less smart immediately. Okay, Michael P is at 550. 550 for a couple of Carter Key booms and six back to Tom. Got the paper and the base. Love it. Six bucks. Tom Edwards is the current high bid for a couple of uh, his favorite Nats player card. Not his favorite player. Favorite team. My bad. Misspoke. He could be. He could be the next Soto. I guess. Right. Yeah. I did say Jordan first. Okay, so Tom Edwards is six bucks. If I don't hear something soon, I'm going with the countdown. All right, six dollars to Tom Edwards going once. Six dollars to Tom Edwards going twice. Six dollars, Tom Edwards, third and final time. Kaboom, you own both of them. What should you change it to, Del and Mel? Um, your screen name or your actual name? Scratch that. Same answer. Doesn't matter what you change it to as long as the first part of your name is the word the. There you go. All right. Okay, next up. Poor Sal's going to miss out on this one. Still the in there. <clears throat> okay, next up, we got a couple of Hot Angels prospect cards. Joe Adele base card and Chrome. Joe Adele, couple of them. Vader is here. He heard Angels. $1 is the starting bid and $1 to Vader. For a couple of Joe Adele's. So I got Vader in at $1. And Autistic Family Collectibles comes in strong at $4 for a couple of Joe Adele's. Two Joe Adele's. $4.50 back to Vader. It is. But he just he just got rid of the frills, lost the E, kept the O, and there you go. Well, that makes more sense. And you are our resident Angels aficionado, Vader. You're also the high bidder at 450. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it the old countdown. Hey, Win Brian. 450 to Vader's card breaks going once. 450 to Vader's card breaks going twice. 
for 50 to Vader's card breaks third and final time. Sold. Nice, Vader. Smoke signal. Or you can send rain up here. Smoke might be hard to differentiate between the existing smoke that we've got going. All right. You know the drill by now. We got a base and paper. Uh, base and chrome combo, Kyle Tucker. One dollar. Uh, don't worry, uh, Mr. Foster. It is okay. Uh, we're all just having a good time. So we got two Kyle Tuckers, chrome and paper, starting bit of one dollar. One dollar to Terry. One dollar to Barry. Terry beats it. Beats you by a nose, though. Two dollars to Barry K at Cards for Days. You guys are working that tie. Terry in at three dollars. Clark's still shooting for two. Terry's still in at three. Four dollars to Barry K. Oh, I understand. I do agree with you, Tom. Uh, he he played pretty solid. Sure, Dwight. Dwight's just trying to use reverse psychology. He just keeps throwing lower bids, and he's like, this is what it's really worth. Just give it to me. I'll take care of it for you. So Barry K has it at $4 for a couple of Kyle Tuckers, and I'm going to give him the old countdown. So Barry K at $4 going once. Barry K at $4 going twice. Somebody's going to blame the lag. There you go. At $2 again with Dwight. $4. Sold. Barry K. Picked up a Kyle Tucker pair. All right, let me throw this in Barry's pile with his Rappy Devers. Oh, uh oh. Are we gonna have? Are we gonna have to walk it back now? The comment that is trade fodder for next time. You do it. You take it back. Look at Alan knowing his checklists. We got a couple of Tuki Toussaints. You better, you better take that back, James. You better take it back right now. He should have won a diamond glove 150 to Alan Scott for a couple of them called for just mean it's mean spirited joke right there oh all right 
So we got two Tuki Toussaints. The high bid now is at two dollars to James Palmer, two fifty to Alan Scott. Yes, exactly, and not depleted, full strength uranium, maybe even vibranium superhero status. James Palmer at three bucks for a couple of Tukis. That's a fun name to say. You should try it. Say it right now. Tuki. $3 to James Palmer. Bought on here at $3.50 soon. We're going to start counting it down. And here we go. James Palmer at $3 going once. James Palmer at $3 going twice. James Palmer at $3 for the third and final time, no pun intended, sold. Here we go, James. One can go to Allen and one to Dwight. Okie dokie. Well, that was very nice of you. Here you guys go. And one to Dwight. Alan, what's your connection to uh, to Mr. Toussaint? I know Dwight is a Braves fan. I know you're a Padres fan. Is there some background information that I'm missing out on here? Uh-oh. All right, Terry. Well, take it easy, man. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, well, that all makes sense. You guys just have good taste together. That's that's what it is. Oh. Well, I know who's going to have their eye on this one. Or this this pair, I should say. That's right. Two Nick Senzels. Base and Chrome. Two Nick Senzels. 2018 Bowman. Starting bit of a buck. Vader is in at one. Not anymore, anyway. The Jeter's already gone. Uh, Dallas F is at two. Two bucks for two Nick Senzels, the paper version and the chrome version. Mark is at three. Dallas F is back at four. Now what? Did you guys happen to catch Michael P when he stepped out of the room? Two Nick Senzels for four dollars. This is madness. Must, he must have like a stash of these somewhere. Dallas F is the high bid at $4. Michael P is going to step in and be like, I've got 78 of each of those. Dallas F is at $4. Michael P would be the big Senzel fan. Also, uh, big stiff the collector, Jason, but I haven't seen him this weekend. <clears throat> $4 to Dallas Foster going once. Four dollars to Dallas Foster going twice. Oh, there we go. Michael P swoops in at five dollars right at the final call. So Michael P, the high bidder at five dollars for a couple of Nick Senzels. Five dollars to Michael P for two Nick Senzels going once. 550 to Dallas Foster. We might have ourselves a little bidding war. Either that or the next comment says I'm out and I regret my choice of words. 
So 550 to Dallas Foster. And it's official. 550 going once. It's 550 to Dallas Foster going twice. It's six dollars to Michael Paget. Now I just feel like you guys are messing with me or each other. I prefer to think of it as you're messing with him and not me. Six dollars to Michael Paget. Six dollars to Michael Paget going once. Six dollars to Michael Paget going twice. Six dollars for the third and final. Goodness gracious. 650 to Dallas Foster. We got 650. No, I'm just gonna set those there. I'm gonna let you just have your giggles. Michael P is out. Dallas Foster is in. 650 to Dallas Foster going once. Dylan Mel stirring the pot. 650 to Dallas Foster going twice. 650 to Dallas Foster third and final time. Sold. Dallas Foster, you get him. 650 for a couple of Nick Senzels. I will indeed, I will indeed put them in Michael's stack. So Michael, you got your Nick Senzels anyway. Okay, I don't think that we know anybody that likes this next person. Hmm. Who could it be? I don't know. Are there any Michael Kopech fans in the house? Because we got two Michael Kopechs. We got a pair. We got the paper and we got the chrome. Michael Kopech, 2018 Bowman, $5 right off the bat. That just happened. Lightning fast. $5 to Jonathan H. for a couple of Mike Kopechs. $8 to Michael P. Clark was doing the difference. That year is a $3 difference. That was fast math. $10 to Tom Edwards for two Michael Kopechs. $10 to Tom Edwards for a couple of Michael Kopechs. Cool, Sino's keyboard is broken, apparently. Or that's some weird kid talk. Sure. That's what I would say, too. $10 to Tom Edwards for a couple of Michael Kopechs. We've got $10 for two Michael Kopechs. He's bidding in euros. He's, he's bidding in wingdings. All right, so Tom is at 10 bucks for the two Copex. And I'm not seeing anything else other than gibberish being typed. So Tom, $10, two Michael Copex going once. Tom, for two Michael Copex at 10 bucks going twice. $10 for the third and final time. Tom Edwards owns them. 10 bucks for the Copex. I had a feeling. I even waited. And then I started writing Tom. And then you typed. Oh, all right. So Jonathan H., you're getting some Copex. Tom, mighty kind of you. The resident Copex fan in the group is getting a couple more for the collection. 
And Jonathan H just found it. I am I'm intrigued. Something tells me it's going to be good. All right. So next up. Ooh, and then I can show the picture, I take it. It's not a middle finger. That would be kind of funny. I'll have to check my Skynet build date. Cool, Cena. But as of right now, we are moving on to a pair of Eloy Jimenez's from 2018 Bowman. Couple of very nice cards, chrome and of the paper variety. Get them on down in there. Couple of Eloy starting bit of a buck. Four dollars to Mark K. The text message picture has come through. Oh, Dilly. Oh, my goodness. That is a beautiful card. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to interrupt the bidding just because you need to see that, Tom. That, I believe, is an orange. And you can see the number up there. That's 19 out of only 25. Good night. That's awesome. So, Tom, you got that coming. And right now, Paul is the high man at $5 for a couple of beautiful Eloys here. <clears throat> That's a very nice card. That's big boy style. So, Paul Curry at $5 is the high bid. Paul Curry at $5 for a couple of Eloy Jimenez's. Jimenez I. Jimenezites. Okay, Paul Curry at $5 going once. Paul Curry at $5 going twice. Paul Curry at Five dollars for the third and final time. Sold to Paul for five dollars. It's a heck of a deal. I think people were still shell shocked from the Trey Turner card. Put those with your Jeter. And there we go. Okay, we got three lots left. And we know this guy again. That's a good call there, Shalini. We got two Fernando Tatis Juniors. Two Fernando Tatis Juniors out of 2018 Bowman pre-dreads. Two bucks to Alan Scott. I saw that coming. Michael P. back at four. Five to Alan. I'm, get, I'm getting a sneaking suspicion Alan wants these cards. Seven bucks to Alan Scott. Seven to Alan. Eight to Michael P. Michael Padgett, four bucks a piece for a couple of Fernando Tatis Juniors. Nine back to Allen. Ten bucks to Michael P. Clark and his patented reverse psychology going backwards at 850. Okay. 
850. <clears throat> Not quite going to get you there, but 10 bucks to Michael P right now. Michael P is the high bidder at $10. And I'm going to go ahead and start the old countdown. They are 2018, Dwight. So Michael P is at $10. Going once. Michael Padgett is at, oh, now Michael Padgett is in second place. He's in second place. At 1050 to Alan Scott. He just wanted to see if you were serious. So we got 11 bucks. Mike, back to Michael P. Michael Padgett has the high bid right now at $11. Alan Scott is out, and that means it's countdown time. So Michael Padgett at $11 going once. Michael Padgett at $11 going twice. Michael Padgett, base and ball cards, $11, third and final time. Soldsville. Give the chrome to Allen. Allen, you got yourself a chrome 2018 Tatis. So nice. And Paul, you're welcome. We never know what to say around here, Alan. Uh, one thing is always more surprising than the next thing. But it is awesome. All right, cool, Cena. I will do that. Oh, no, I do, uh, Vader. I, I did it a while back, and then I I uh, finally uh, bit the bullet and uh, hopped on old eBay. Well, cool, Cena. I'm sure everyone would like to see it. That is a pretty uh, Matt Olson. So nice. Okay. Two lots left to go. Well, man, that's, that is a, that is a big time um, item. Um, I don't have very many autographed baseballs, so I don't even know what something like that would go for or what to offer you, but I'd be happy to uh, look into it. Um, yeah, cool scene. Like I get, it's tough to put into words, you know, like a, an appropriate level thank you. Um, I'm sure I'm not alone when I say this, that I think a lot of us are not a lot of the stuff, it's unexpected, you know. Um, it's kind of overwhelming, to be quite honest with you. And you always want to say the right thing. But I don't really know what the right thing is other than thank you um, a thousand million times. I do have some unauthenticated stuff. You know, Barry, I... I, I, I get where you're coming from with that. And I, I feel the same way when I look at autographs online and it says hand signed. If it doesn't have a certificate of some kind, just to kind of put my mind at ease, you know, I stay away from it. But honestly, I think if I owned it, like if I was in your shoes, um, unless you really plan on selling it, it's just kind of a 
it's a judgment call, I guess, right? Because that's really all the authenticators are doing. They're not taking some weird, you know, science sample off of it. They just look at it and go, yeah, that looks legit. Um, I don't know. If I had bought it at an estate sale as you did, I'd probably feel pretty good about it and just I'd just leave it at that. Yeah, I agree. And I mean, you could always you could always send it to have it authenticated. But then again, it's like a, getting a card graded, right? You're just kind of running the risk of somebody's opinion on a certain day. Um, and that could go either way, obviously. Dang, Vader, you're you're racking up the uh, the autographed uh, memorabilia. That's awesome. And speaking of um, World Series, is as your 2002 World Series statement, you might remember this guy from the World Series. Yep, you do not need to get it graded. They will just say authenticated or not, and uh, and that's as good as can be in my eyes. Um, Ten bucks to Tom Edwards wasting no time. Yeah, Vader, I, I don't I don't have a ton of memorabilia, although I do think that it's cool. Um, I'm always worried about how to display it, I guess. So Tom is at ten bucks for two Juan Sotos, and I would say uh, this is still a extremely good deal. Yeah, I heard he's pretty good. Didn't hurt that he actually performed. Um, in the World Series, unlike some other rookies, eleven bucks to Barry K for two Sotos. Sorry, I mean that's highway robbery. That Kevin would even accept twelve dollars for this. Kevin, my goodness, you're just basically stealing from these fine folks, taking advantage of them. Thirteen dollars to Paul Curry. Thirteen dollars because Paul does not care at all about Tom's feelings. Tom, just struggling to find happiness in the world, just wants nothing more than these two Juan Sotos, and people just keep trying to steal from him. $15. See, Tom, see what I'm doing here? I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help Tom out. $15 for a couple of Juan Sotos. Basically, just paper. I was going to pay more than $15 for a couple of pieces of paper. You're right. You get it. Jeez. People. I got $15 since it stalled out. I'm going to go 15 to Tom Edwards going once. 16 to Barry K. Barry K is now the high man. Tom stepped out. Barry stepped in. 16 bucks for two Juan Sotos. Barry K needs his Juan Sotos because he did not have the best of luck pulling them. So Barry is about to have two of them. 16 bucks to Barry K going once. 16 bucks to Barry K at Cards for Days. If you haven't seen his channel yet, you're just a fool. Go over there. Subscribe twice. Going twice. 16 bucks to Barry K for the third and final time. Sold. Barry K, $16 for two. <laughs> and it's going to Tom. I barely even got the pencil out on that one. Barry was quick. Well, Barry, that was extreme generosity, man. That was awesome. I just think Barry K didn't even get to pull his own Juan Soto the other night, and he's still more generous <clears throat> than I might have been because I would have wanted me a Soto. Barry, that was awesome of you, man. Tom, these would go in your pile, and they will obviously go to a good home. Someone who appreciates some fine Nats cards.
everyone winds up happy. Okay, one minute. So, Kevin, this is the last, the last of the auction cards, and we're going to go out with a bang. There we go. Needs no introduction, needs no talking up, universally appealing to everyone with a brain and a wallet, to Pete Alonzo's. Mark has a very interesting bidding technique. Jonathan H is at 10 bucks. Michael P, $4. We're doing some fancy math here. Dwight is at 11. Eleven bucks for a couple of eighteen Bowman Pete Alonzos. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Um, I try to slow roll it as long as I can, just to kind of account for it. Um, but right now, eleven bucks to Dwight Clark Sports Cards is the high bid. So I got 11 bucks to Dwight. And while I don't know if there is a lag, I also know that I'm not seeing anything. Yes, Mark, as a as a Californian, I, I am also happy to have power when we do. He does look young. He hasn't quite fully matured into full-on dad bod status. The Rui of pro baseball. Fantastic. Well, here we go, Dwight. Eleven bucks for two Pete Alonzos going once. We have eleven bucks for two Pete Alonzos going twice. Eleven dollars. Dwight Clark Sports Cards. Third and final time. Can't blame the lag on this one. Eleven bucks sold. Uh, some, some amazing kid, first Japanese player, uh, drafted in the NBA in the first round, Vader. Pretty amazing stuff. Alan had dinner right across the table from Alonzo when I was in New York for the Padres and Mets series this summer. That is pretty crazy. So, Jonathan, Jonathan, you saw it. You're getting yourself a Pete Alonzo. Look at you guys name dropping left and right. I'll tell you what. I'm going to drop a name. I'm going to drop a name into this auction, and I'm going to drop it right now. If you guys were watching this morning, you knew that this card was coming. Bonus auction. I just got one item on the menu, and it's all kinds of scribbly. It's an Aussie Albies Stadium Club autograph card, and it's pretty. Four bucks to Michael P for an Aussie Albies autograph. Ten bucks to James Palmer. Twelve to Alan Scott. Aussie Albies, criminally underrated Braves. Thirteen to James Palmer. 
give me a couple seconds there, Paul, and then we will uh I'll be able to handle that. 14 to Clark Sports Cards. Fifteen to Alan Scott. James is out. Alan is in. We are at fifteen dollars. Alan Scott is at fifteen dollars for the Aussie Albies um, autograph. Sorry, not a rookie. So Alan, we're gonna go Aussie Albies autograph going once. Alan. Ozzy Albies autograph 16 to Dwight. We're at 17 to Alan Scott. Dwight is out. Alan is in. 17 bucks going once. 17 bucks to Alan Albies auto. Going twice. Allen. Albies. Auto. 17 bucks third and final time. Sold. Allen, got yourself an Aussie. Albies. Auto. Thank you, sir. All right. <clears throat> so let's try to. Uh... Oh, I didn't even see that. Please send it to <laughs> Alan. Alan Dunn did it. Well, Alan, kudos to you for knowing how and when to uh, to return the favor. I do know that Jonathan H. loves his Albies. It. It is going to be put into the pile. Jonathan H's stash. Okay. Okay, so if we can uh if we can take just a brief second here so I can confirm that we have all of the correct um the correct amounts. Okay, so if you guys could just uh just hold on for one second on the chats. Um and Kevin. Uh, I'm going to say the name, and I'm going to I'm going to say the uh, the prices that they paid, and then you're going to give me a total. Okay, so I'm going to start off with I'm going to start off with Jonathan. So Jonathan, we had two fifty for Reese Hoskins. We had. Jonathan, was that the only one you got? The Reese Hoskins? The only one that you actually won the auction of? Kevin, is that what you have? Okay, so so again, um, I'm just gonna ask if you guys would would be so kind as to help kind of limit the the chat for just a hot second um, so that I can get this taken care of. Um, otherwise, it's gonna be very confusing. Okay, so um, next one, Kevin, um, going with James. 
So Kevin, are you ready? Okay, so James has 275 for the uh, Bueller lot. James has 350 for the Royce Lewis. And James has $3 for the Tukey Toussaint. Is that everything? Okay, quick, get all your comments in. Okay, so James, 925. Okay, next up, Kevin, we have Michael P. Okay, Michael P. Michael P. has six bucks for the Tatis uh, trending. Five bucks for the Pedro Martinez. Eleven bucks for the Tatis lot. Want to give me a total there? Okay, and hopefully most of you waited um, so that when I look at it, it's one lump sum. And I don't have to add together uh, five different things. Michael, did you pay all at one time or did you pay um, as you went? I just need to know if I need to um, add them up. Gotcha. So 22 bucks for Michael. Five payments of 50 cents. I guess it's better than 250 payments of a penny. All right. So next up, Kevin, we got Dwight. So Dwight had three bucks for the Otanis. And 11 bucks for the Alonzos. Is that what you have? That's correct. Okay, next up is Barry. So Barry, Barry, you had five for the Devers, four for the Kyle Tuckers, 16 for the Juan Soto's. So what's that, 25? Okay. Um, so, are you guys each sending five fifty, Alan? I'm sorry. Are you each sending eight bucks? Sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, so. So Barry, 17. All right. All right, Dylan, take it easy, bud. Um, let's go to Alan. I'll tell you what, Kevin, do you already have it all totaled up by person? So Alan for it looks like Alan would have 12 bucks.
I just want to know if I needed to give you the totals or if you already had them and I was just uh, making this take longer. So Allen had four bucks for the Frank Thomas. And then if he split the um, Sotos, eight bucks, 12 bucks. And then that would be separate. So the, the, the Albies would be 17 and that's separate. I think you already paid for the uh, Albies. Is that right, Alan? I think you sent a $17 payment. So it should be a 17 and then a 12. You. Uh, let's clarify that real quick. Alan, when you say you owe four, Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, so Tom is at thirty-one fifty. Tom is that? Uh, Tom, I think had to step out. So, let's see, Tom had ten fifty. Let's make that fifteen fifty. Twenty-one fifty. 3150 to Tom. That's correct. And who do you got next? Dallas. Kevin, I'm like, Dallas. Dallas at 14 plus 650, so 2050. Perfect. So let's go to Paul. Paul would have 35. All right, cool scene to take it easy, buddy. Forty, I must have missed one. What did I miss with Paul? I got Paul 30 bucks for the Jeter and five bucks for Eloy. Paul, are you there? Forty. Got it. Yep, we're good. Okay, Vader. <clears throat> Four fifty for Adele. And four fifty for Adele. Did you get Vader. All right. Let's go back and make sure all is good with that. And it's only six o'clock. Kevin, I would call that a success. Um, yes, sir. Paul Curry, that is, that's the one. And then Paul, um, Paul, I don't remember. I think we talked about um, shipping stuff because I know you don't have anything like currently coming. At least I'm pretty sure that you do not. Um, 
just work out the timetable of uh, of getting these. Um, everyone else, these are going to go out in your outgoing um, packs with friends slash Patreon stuff. Kevin, that was a great, great, great mixture of cards. Um, Jonathan, um, what are your plans looking like for tonight? Okay, so Jonathan, I know that uh, you had already got your your payment in, and James and Dwight are they want to get into some basketball, um, and that's always a good time. The big one, I'm loving it, and I think that some people are going to be just completely surprised. So, Jonathan, are you ready? I'll tell you what. Everyone that stepped out of the room is, is going to be kicking themselves for missing this. That's right. We are about to get into National Treasures spontaneously. It's about to happen. So <clears throat> Dwight and James and anyone else who wants to uh, open anything else tonight, we will. Uh, you know how we roll. We will do this as long as it takes. But we really just need to give this the appreciation that it deserves because this is about to happen. Yep, this is the one with the fancy box. Barry K bid six bucks. All right. Twisting the arm. I think that we are we are about as primed as we can get. And uh, Jonathan, I just so you know, I have got all kinds of nice um, one touches that these will get into. <clears throat> but I'm sure you don't want to watch me run around um, hunting for one touches. So without further ado, it's go time. And we will not carve a gigantic X into this, because why would you? Yeah, there are some pretty amazing books that can be had out of this I honestly I just I'm I'm pretty much speechless speechless right now cuz I just really can't wait to see what's going to be in here The box is beautiful it is not not some cheap cardboard little contraption here All 
right. I feel like a light should turn on in there. And there she is. For those of you that haven't seen the inside, it is a wooden box. It is just as nice as you would expect it to be. Isn't This isn't the one with the metal briefcase. That might be flawless, I think. I do appreciate that because you do need to get this box. Um, you will definitely be getting the box. We might have to step it up, Jonathan, to a large flat rate box. Uh, maybe it was immaculate. Um, it's one of those, immaculate, flawless, uh, one of those things. Get into here, all nicely sealed up. I don't want to reveal all the cards right away, obviously. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so Jonathan, our first card, and there are supposed to be eight cards in here, for those of you that don't know, um, eight cards in here, and there are oftentimes bonus cards. Victor Robles, and it is four out of ten, a Victor Robles Four out of ten. Colossal patch. Well, we are off to a great start, Jonathan, because that is a legit player right there. And it's a gorgeous patch, too, with the stripe in it. It's the seam. Very nice. Okay, let me set him down. Take the uh, proper precautions here to make sure we can sleeve everything. Okay, there she is. Four out of ten. Victor Robles, beautiful card. Nice first pull. Get him all nice. Okay. The short curlies will be lasered off in preparation for this. Okay, so we have our next card. It's upside down, of course it is. Okay, here we go. We already know it's gonna be out of 25. Look at that one, Jonathan. Steve Garvey, Retro Materials, out of 25. What a sweet bat relic. 7 of 25, Steve Garvey, Retro Materials. Bat relics are the best. That is a very true statement. Here, I don't want to. I don't want to spoil the next card. I also don't want to 
hurt anything by doing anything silly. Take care of Mr. Garvey here. Well, I don't know how you're, uh, I don't know how you're scoring it at home, but uh, we are two for two. There's Steve Garvey. Okay, Jonathan. First two cards, both very nice. Both big name players. Okay, next. I see a bat. That's always a good sign. And that is... A-Rod, Game Gear, Alex Rodriguez, 57 out of 99. I would go ahead and say another big name player, though. You don't have to like him to know the value of an A-Rod card. Yep. Nice, Alex Rodriguez. Light it on fire. Well, that's one way. eBay would be the other, the other option. He didn't skip leg day, Dwight. So Victor Robles, Steve Garvey, Alex Rodriguez. I've definitely seen worse. Okay, next up. Unbelievable. Unflippin' real. I don't even need to say anything. Don't even need to say anything. Jonathan H., check that out. Game Gear, Nolan Ryan, Triple Relic. Man. Jonathan, I'm going to tell you right now, like I can't help but feel a lot of pressure about what comes out of this box. And I will say that card definitely helps. That, I mean, I feel like that took some weight off of my shoulders. Um, and we haven't even got to the autographs yet. But man, as far as the relic cards out of the box go, that's got to be up there. Oh. Exciting. Exciting. Well, Shlaney, we, we can get there, but uh, we got to take them as they come. And right now, uh, that's about as good in terms of relics as we could get for Jonathan, at least. I'll tell you what, I would not be surprised if Jonathan does manage to get another of his big PC players out of here. Okay, so Jonathan, of your relics, which we know the first four are, Alex Rodriguez, Nolan Ryan, Victor Robles out of only 10, 
and a Steve Garvey bat relic out of only 25. Uh, you definitely killed it in the uh, relic portion of that box, buddy. Very, very nice. All right. The eight, Dwight, there should be eight. We got him, Shalini. We got him. Okay, here we go. Next one. Seen a lot of white, which makes me think redemption. It is. And it is a rookie material signatures to gold Yusei Kikuchi. Awesome. So your first autograph is a gold Yusei Kikuchi rookie material signatures. That's a big one. So Jonathan's luck continues. Congratulations on that one. Yep, I mean, can't deny, though, that he is a very hot prospect. Um, definitely big in, uh, in the hobby world. One of the few rookie pitchers that I think was one of the big uh, value cards. Uh, it, this one says... Jonathan, it says card number 57. I don't know if it's out of 99. Might be. I don't know why, but I always feel the need to sleeve these little redemption guys. Okay, so we got the Kikuchi. We don't need to worry about that code getting stolen because you got to scratch it off. Okay, next up. It's an auto. It is at a 99. It is a Dennis Santana from Los Angeles. That's an awesome um, piece of material there. So we got a rookie pitcher, Dennis Santana. Sweet auto relic. Gold is out of 25. Well, it says gold, so hopefully that holds true. So there is Dennis Santana. And just FYI, I, I am shielding the next card from myself, so I kind of see it as you see it. That's a great looking relic. What do we know about uh, Mr. Santana? Yeah, it's just all around. That's a great looking card. Well, then we'll just stick with our mantra of rookie pitcher. Rookie pitcher, good. He makes beautiful music. Does he have a torso? Remember, the key to pitching is possession of a torso.
Okay, give me one second. Got to get into our our super duper jumbo top loaders for that one. Okay, there we go. Second rookie pitcher auto. Okay, next up, this would be card number seven. Where is our one of one? Where is our one of one? Um, I think we just found it. Shalaney? Holy crap. Shalaney? Where's our one of one? Where is our one of one? There is our one of one. It is a Kevin Newman, who if I followed along is the good Kevin. One of one. It's Newman, and it is a one of one. Now, damn, I love this channel. This is our fourth one of one that we pulled in like a month. Jonathan. This is Jonathan's second one of one printing plate in just a couple weeks. Congratulations, Jonathan, on a one of one. Uh, that's a good question. Maybe like a Independence Memorial Day kind of a thing. A Nolan Ryan and a one of one in the same box. Well, yeah, um, nothing wrong with throwing a one of one on there, buddy. So nice. Okay, now doing the math, this should be the eighth and final card. Um, unless uh, Jonathan was lucky enough to get some bonus cards. So Jonathan, let's see. Looks like the bottom of the card. Now, I don't want to speculate, but I think that's a bonus card because I could see the autograph, which means it wasn't a book. New York? Is it really? It is! Pete Alonzo! Jonathan, you got a Pete Alonzo! 53 out of 99. Holy crap! Yeah, John's speechless, man. You flipping killed it on this box. Pete Alonzo, number 53 out of 99. I am so stoked for you right now, bro. This is awesome. A Nolan Ryan, a one of one, and a Pete Alonzo bonus cards. Whew. This is awesome. Yeah. 
Get a little polar bear love here. Man. I don't know, but whatever it took for the stars to align for Jonathan to get a Pete Alonzo autograph, um, I'm sure he'll take it. Pete Alonzo. All right, here we go. Last card. I mean, maybe. I've seen two bonuses before. So it looks like the back of a book. How does that go? It was like this. No Tukey. 21 out of 49 Legends Materials Red Show and Dice from St. Louis. I absolutely love the old school. Bat Relic from Red Show and Dice. Shane Dice. So close. You guys seriously poo pooing this one? Have you no baseball heart? Not one single Ryan O'Hearn or Cedric Mullins to be found in the box. In 1942, Shane Dice heard St. Louis was holding a tryout and whoever went could watch a game for free. That was incentive enough for the 19-year-old who attended and eventually joined the squad's minor league system. He made his debut three years later and played 15 seasons. With the team, the enclosed game used material is guaranteed by Panini America. I think it's beautiful. I love that it is a bat relic. Especially given the age, you know, of the player. I think that everyone here who has watched any of these National Treasures breaks um, has definitely seen boxes that don't even come close to how well you just did, uh, Jonathan. Um, you definitely helped me out by taking this gamble, and I hope that you feel like as far as boxes could have gone, um, you got a damn fine box, sir. Nolan Ryan, Steve Garvey, Bat Relic, Alex Rodriguez, Victor Robles, Dennis Santana, the beautiful patch auto, a Pete Alonzo bonus, Red Shane Dines, Yusei Kikuchi, Gold Auto will be coming, and a one of one. Wow. Wow. That was that was a successful box. That was a successful box. Um Alan that's I'm not going to I don't care if anybody knows um but it's not really my my place at this point. Um it's kind of Jonathan's stuff. Um it's not a secret. So 
Um, I don't really know where to go with that. Um, Jonathan, if you want me to answer, don't. I don't really care. You guys can tell me. Okay. So, um, Alan, if you if you want to know, I would be happy to to tell you. Um, again, uh, Jonathan was obviously helping me out, so I kind of felt like returning the favor. Um, so I will go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead and run through it. Um, what I felt like was a good deal, um, again, because he was helping me. So the boxes went on sale recently for $4.69. So $4.69 is what I charged. Um, it's less than what I paid for it. But again, like that doesn't matter because that's the going rate. Um, Jonathan also wanted all of these. Um, so these were... Um, three dollars a pack. Um, I know that you guys who've gone to buy these at Walmart know that they cost more than three dollars a pack. I sell them on packs with friends for ten dollars, so I gave them to him for three dollars. And two blasters, which generally sell for about um anywhere from twenty-five to thirty bucks, so I sold him each one at fifteen dollars. And that's how much it cost. Yep. And I think, you know, at the at the end of the day, um, I would always like to believe that I'm giving somebody a good deal. Um, and I also can appreciate when a person is pretty clearly um, doing something because they know it's going to help um, somebody else out of a bind. And uh, that definitely did um, help me out of a bind. So I felt like the price of the box kind of is what it is, but all the other stuff was, at least in my opinion, a very good deal. Um, anywho, I would hope that if you guys are ever buying something from me, that you're buying it because you want it first and foremost, as much as I do appreciate um, you guys helping me, I think you all can kind of understand that there's a certain amount of uh, pressure and or guilt um, to kind of go about doing and selling things the right way um, without trying to take advantage of somebody's kind of weak spots. Um, I don't want to be the guy who is known as one who takes advantage of people. Um, but, uh, I don't forget those of you that helped me. That's for sure. Mm-hmm. Yep. Shalini, all of that. All of that. I'm still tickled about this Nolan Ryan. I know the relics aren't always everyone's favorite, but I, I'm just so happy that he got a Nolan Ryan since, you know, he did turn down the Nolan Ryan auto. Um, but he still wound up with a Nolan, and it's an awesome one at that. Yeah, I mean, crazy enough. Um, I actually treat Jonathan like an adult and uh, Jonathan is more than capable of making his own damn decisions and probably doesn't need somebody white knighting uh, for him. So no.
I like that people will uh, they will go out of their way to you know make a comment like that as though they are somehow sticking up for a person, but at the same time they are kind of indirectly insulting the person they claim to be protecting by basically insinuating that that person lacks the ability to make decisions for themselves. But I guess people just don't see it that way. And Jonathan, um, yep, that I would think that that is very insulting and degrading, um, especially you know if you are an intelligent person that can see the insult in it. Um, Jonathan, I just want to go ahead and say this because I don't want there to be any kind of surprises when you get it. I know that there was a lot of a lot of criticism about some of the condition of the cards, and I will tell you right now what happens is. All of these cards don't fit into the box, so the top card can move. Um, and on this Robles card, I don't know if you saw, kind of down here on the, the bottom red, you can kind of see that it had wiggled in there. You know, it would have been nice if it was the Redemption card that had wiggled, but it was this one. Um, just... Like I said, I don't want you to be surprised when you get the card in your hand and think that maybe I mishandled it. I know that would not be your first assumption, but just trying to get it out there. Oh, hey, Tom is back. And Jonathan, uh, it goes without saying that I will make sure that you get this box because it's awesome. Uh, even if you wanted to just use it for something else, it's pretty cool. Won't forget the Kikuchi here. Well, that didn't take long. Okay. Robles goes to Tom. Tom, you got a very nice 4 out of 10 colossal Robles. Tom obviously is a great person and a awesome addition to our family here. So Tom, I will get this to you and agree on all accounts. Tom is a good dude. All right, I'm just doing a little tidying. Uh, don't you guys go anywhere because Jonathan is is not done. At least unless Jonathan has to go. But otherwise, Jonathan is not done. Jonathan's got all kinds of good stuff. So Jonathan, what is your what is your schedule looking like? Wait, what's going on? Maybe 100 to 150. Not sure. What do we ask about? Uh, Pete will sell for 300. Ooh, that's a good call. When is Rookie of the Year announcements? All right. So, uh, Jonathan, you got uh, you got all the fat packs, and you've got two blasters. Um, what what interests you first?
As soon as he gives me the go ahead, we start Ripathon. Fat like me. Awesome. I think tonight might be the most perfect night of all of human history. If we could get, we got a one of one, a Nolan Ryan, a Pete Alonzo auto. If we can get a bat down, I might as well, I might as well just retire. I can't believe it, guys. We got another one of one. There's got to be, somebody's got to be stat tracking one of ones pulled on a channel. And if we went by volume, the amount of volume that we open versus some other guys, uh, we've definitely got to be up in that top upper echelon of one of one pulls per packs opened. Okay, we got Joe Panic. Middle infield Marvels, Josh Harrison, Williams. Ooh, shush, easy, easy. <laughs> Modern Valencia, Matt Bush, Tyler Clippert, Brian Goodwin, Tony Watson, Hader, Kane, Jones, Descalso, Giovanni Gallardo. Marcus Stroman, Fulmer, go insert style. We've got Judge, nice Corey Seager. We've got our first foil, Clayton Richard. And you might notice that this one looks a little bit different. Hopefully you notice that the top is kind of a golden and that's because, holy crap, it's an Aaron Judge, and it is numbered out of 50. Aaron Judge out of 50. From tops, that's a big deal. That's a top load immediately. Aaron Judge out of 50. Very nice, Jonathan. Jonathan's luck keeps rolling. Got a Strasburg, Wade Miley, Jankowski, Walker, Hardy, Joey Votto, Julio Tehran, Pujols, Dwight Smith Jr., Garcia, Pina, Arena. Whatever happened to Manny Pina? Maeda, Bonifacio, and Castellanos. Whenever I see these Gold Cup rookie cards, these all-star rookie cards, and then I never hear from the guy again, I always wonder what kind of happened. <clears throat> Just ignore the voice coming out of your computer. Fusion surgery and no PT. That's ballsy. Okay, Melancone, Blake Snell, very nice. Montero, Kohler, Giolito, Mitch Hanniger, Future Stars, McGrath, Soler, Ben Gamel, Watson, another Josh Hader Gold Cup card. Kane, so we're seeing some collation. Jacoby Jones, Scalso, Gallardo, Aaron Judge insert, the OxyClean in the background, Corey Seeger again. And we got a Danny Santana with the Braves gold. Dustin Pedroia, George Springer. I feel like I need to get up and get a one touch. Moronto. Something's going to happen tonight. Chris Davis. Pedroia. Duvall. Rickard. Walters. Keichel. Escobar. Riddle. Gibson. 
Alonzo, wrong one though. Shreve, Winker, Goldie, and Pineda. Barry, did you honestly, did you really miss that whole thing? Please tell me you did not miss the whole National Treasures and you could at least listen wherever you were. I'll come right out and say it. I will come right out and say it. There were some pretty rough boxes of National Treasure out there. And uh, yeah, we did not get one of those boxes. We did not get a rough box. We got a great box complete with pete alonzo autographs one of one nolan ryan yep kevin newman one of one hernandez and frazier maples josh donaldson smiley asuna Para, Margot, Future Stars. Got a Cardinals team card. Shelby Miller. Ken Giles. Hernandez. Mathis. Steve Pierce. Adrianza. This looks... This looks kind of SP-ish. Nope, it had that look to it. Okay, Aaron Judge. McCutcheon. Yan Gomes, foil. Manny Machado, uh, blue parallel. I love it. Johnny Bench. Weird placement of that. Byron Buxton, Legends of the Making. Casimir, Green, Crone, Chavez, Maranta, Wood, nice Altuve, Castillo, Ramirez, Eikhoff, Jared Hughes, Dan Straley, Justin Bohr, Hamill, and LeMayhew. I will say that the last few cards in that pack were definitely a uh, a casualty of the clearance bin. But Jonathan, luckily, you didn't you didn't have anything um, super desirable in there. It still sucks. First half was solid though. They can conserve them for you. We want to really focus on using the buzzword of conserve because that makes it sound less shady. Okay, Kyle Seeger, <clears throat> Derek Fisher, Future Star, Estrada, Hughes, Franklin Barreto, Mella, Garver, Luplo. Russell Martin, Oakland A's team card. The line of the shields. Tomlinson. Tylen. Warren. Ian Desmond. Britton. Joe Ross. Insert time. Travis Shaw. Aaron Judge, of course. Domingo Santana. It's that same style, not numbered. Marcel Azuna. Ooh, we got a black Ahmed Rosario. Sorry. Okay, Ahmed Rosario, black. Sanchez. Wade Davis, Danny Santana, Maven, Kingery, Maeda, Bonifacio, 
Castellanos, Garza, Healy, Fister, I hardly know her, Granky, Arietta, and Vargas. I don't know what we're referring to. I've got to, I just got to, I got to throw some out there once in a while just to make sure you're awake. Okay, David Fries. Oh, Valera, Martinez, Richard, Goodrum. Cervelli, Evans, Leiter Jr., Rivera, Oakland A's team card, Leiter to Shields, Tomlinson, Tylen, Warren, feels like the exact same pack, Desmond, Britton, Ross, Judge. Noah Syndergaard with the 430-foot home run. That's pretty crazy when you think about it. Whoa! Jonathan! Jonathan just went big boy. Check it out. That is an SP. Check it out. 4112 is the end. The red shirt Otani. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. I just I know that it's cool. I know one of you is already on eBay. That's awesome. Congratulations on this one. Well, yeah, Robert, I just don't feel like the need to state the obvious, you know. Yep, that's a different pick. Schwarby. Weaver. Desclafani. Addison Russell. Junis. Brandon Moss. Winker. Goldie. Pineda, Lugo, DeGrom, Perez, Fields, Gaddis, and JV. Somebody out there's got to know something about that Otani. Does my extra seven still go to the uh, breast cancer thing? You've settled down there, James. Keep it. You know, you know why. Yeah, that was me. I just got your uh, notification. 35 on eBay. Well, that damn near pays for all of this 18 stuff that I sold him. That's kind of nice. Why the name? I don't. I don't have a weird name. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. So it's not just me then. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm just asking about the extra seven. If the if the seven is still going for the breast cancer thing, uh, keep it. Again, you know why? Because I texted you, and don't really need to <clears throat> get into that. Maples, Donaldson, Smiley, Asuna, Para, Margot, Future Star. Farmer, Felix Jorge, or George, Steve Pierce, Adrianza, still felt like that looks like an SP. My goodness, this A's team card again. The line of the shields, and maybe we'll get another SP. Tomlinson, Tylen, not even going to bother because I know it's going to be landscape again. Warren, okay, Aaron Judge. The Eck All Star Carlos Perez Foil. This is a sweet Frank Thomas 495 foot home run beast mode. Cody Allen Gold Albert Pujols Legends in the Making. Hanley Ramirez. Miley, Jankowski, Taiwan Walker, Hardy, Wood, Fernando Rodney, can't get his hat on straight, Kinsler, Keichel, Escobar, Riddle, Gibson, Alonzo, Shreve, Winker, Don't Steal. This is the end. Of the fatty fat packs. That Otani is awesome. And for what it's worth, it was in great condition. Spit free. Okay. Nito. Meyer. Minor. Glass now, future star. Bummer. That sucks. Santander, Perez, Ramos, Carpenter, this kid again, Kelby, nerd, Tylen, Warren, good night with this collation is out of control. <clears throat> okay, as long as he's doing all right, and hopefully his grandpa's doing all right, and uh. Michael, uh, my mom, or my, uh, good night. My wife would be upset if I failed to ask how your dad was doing after the blood sugar scare. Desmond, Britton, Ross, Peraza, Corey Kluber, Judge, We've got an Albies rookie. 525 for strawberry. Get the crap out of that ball. Victor Robles rookie card. Nice. Got a judge with the blue background. Will not be numbered, but uh, it is a rarer parallel. Smith Escobar. LaCastro. Galvis. Casimir. Walters, Gaddis, JV, Turner, Darvish, Nelson, Barrios, Montgomery. What happened to this guy? What happened to him? Any good still? And Price. But don't fear because we still have two full blasters to open. Now, I will go ahead and, and just a brief a brief pause um, while I'm getting the blasters ready. Um, Jonathan, I could ask you how you feel, but you always would undersell things. As far as what you've gotten so far tonight, Alonzo, a one of one, a Nolan Ryan, the red Shane Deinst, if I'm still saying that wrong, I apologize. The Shohei might be a $35 to $60 card, Judge out of 50 
I would say you are coming uh, pretty close to being able to get all of your money back, um, which has got to be a relief. This was a sizable investment. I would say it's a good night. You had some pretty good luck this morning, too. It's always nice when the uh, baseball card gods smile on the right person for the right reasons. You want the patch open first or last? He did get a Copec Auto, and I got a sweet Laser Ramon. And if my wife is watching, um, she could bring in my Ramon uh, bobblehead that I forgot to show in my video the other night. I'm really kicking myself that I didn't show it. And the Patriots are losing. All is right in the world. Got a Trey Mancini. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a brief intermission here to show you what I forgot to put in my um, buying baseball cards at a baseball game video. And it goes along with the, um, the Ramon Laureano thing that uh, Jonathan gifted me today. Um, Robert, you will appreciate this more than most. And Blondebeard, if he was still around, uh, he would appreciate this as well. So we got these at the baseball game. And it is a Ramon Laureano bobblehead. And uh, wait for it. That's right. Laser beams. It shoots actual laser beams. Yep, I got this on the last Sunday home game. My daughter loves hitting it. It's awesome. And believe it or not, I've been I've been sitting them there waiting to make that video, and then I totally forgot about it. I can't believe I forgot about it. It's pretty sweet, man. I, I was just pretty pumped. I just thought it was going to be a regular bobble, bobblehead, and then I pulled it out, and then uh, I was surprised. Exactly. All the laser beams. Okay. Here we go. So we're going to see a lot of familiar faces, and we know the one we really want to see. Okay, Clayton Richard, Goodrum, Garcia, John Jay, Anthony Rizzo, All-Star, Aaron Judge, Insert, Pomeranz, Goldie, Pineda, Lugo. Cervelli, Seeger, Flaherty, rookie, Garver, gold, Arias, future stars, followed by a Trey Mancini with the blue banner, extra rare, Derek Holland, Robertson, DeGrom, and Perez. That Otani is just sitting there smiling. I mean, I feel like he's waving right at me. Okay, Evans, Lighter Jr., Newcomb, Future Stars, Brandon Geyer, 
Thames. Byron Buxton, never seen this card. Glove work. Tom Seaver, instant impact. Aaron Judge, the blue. Cole Hamels, Josh Fields. Any Cole Hamels love, Jonathan? Uh, Tom, if you wanted a 2019 Tops update, 1984 style, Victor Robles autograph orange out of 25, you got two minutes on eBay. It's at 29 bucks right now. Just letting you know. Uh, keep my eyes on these uh, cards of you guys. Rivera, Mejia, it's a full-time job. Nava, Cobb, 29 bucks, seven bidders. Frankie Lindor, Future Stars card, that's cool. Byron Buxton, Legends in the Making. Hanley Ramirez, Gaddis, JV, Turner. That is especially frustrating, James. I'm sorry to hear that. Were you ab ever able to find a Yelich auto? I know you were looking the other day. Makes sense. Hey, the world needs uh, solid gamers, though. All right, they can't all make it to the hall. Grady. Ramirez. Blue Jays. Feels like something was stuck to it. It's not. Savi Perez, we got all smiles with the Cubbies, foil style. A Bodie auto for a buck twenty-five. Awesome. I hear you. Fifty bucks would definitely kind of be the top end. Judge, Miley, Darvish, Nelson, Barrios. Although I do feel like they are all going to fall around the $50 range for the most part. Sometimes I think it's easy to see the anomaly and then uh, kind of base them all like that. Villanueva, Nimmo, Travis. It's, it's the corrected error version, Matt Chapman. Nothing wrong with looking for a steal. If you don't need the stuff immediately, why not? Selman, Gelman, oh, that's weird, that's frustrating, Bryce Harper, uh, walk-offs, Schwarby, got swooped, ah, what did it end up going for, Jankowski, Montgomery, and David Price. It was at 29 when I saw it last. 34, that's still not bad. Out of 25, that's a, that's a solid card. Souza Jr., Martinez, Alex Gordon, Peterson. Double check real quick. Nope. Felt a little shinier than usual. Clemente, 485-foot home run. Good grief. Crazy lot there. Clayton Kershaw, blue background. Walker, Chris Bryant, Jan Gomes, and Trevor Cahill. This pack plus two more out of this blaster, Jonathan. Brandon Crawford, power up, Heredia, Hedges, uh, Ian Happ, Future Star, Abreu, Legends of the Making, Hardy, Brandon Moss again, Ellsbury, and Familia. 
We get it. Baseball card day. We missed it. Okay. Alther, Nito, Meyer, Padres team card, Aguilar, Severino All Star, Judge, Votto, Voigt, Thompson. Last pack of this blaster. And then one more blaster. And then you can slip into sweet sleep. Minor. Glass now. Scherzer. Fam. Duval. Mejia. And Cisco back to back. You guys are probably starting now to see the difference of these. Almora, Boyd, and Herrera. Uh, Jonathan, I will say, in my experience, um, for a while there, Walmart had restocked on update hanger packs and blasters. And on the advice of people on Blowout, I bought a bunch of hanger packs, and I definitely did way better. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a, a collation anomaly, um, but I felt like I did better. With other products, you know, blasters are the way to go. I, I just think it's however people are collating stuff at the time. Um, you never really know what you're going to get. Okay, let's follow suit. Let's go patch first. A nice Albert Pujols. Couple of nice names tonight. I would tend to agree that he would be a future Hall of Famer. Don't see any reason why not. He's got all the right numbers. Okay. What a... Grinch, Tomlinson, Tylen, Bregman, Greg Allen. It's nice to see a new card. Aaron Judge, Castro, Pineda, Lugo. That is generous of you, Kevin. I said Ross, Miller, Spanberg, Engenberg, sorry, Warren, Desmond, Nomar, Galvis, Casimir, DeGrom, Perez. Wilkerson, Garrett Cole, Britton, Ross, Mark McGuire, 487-foot home run, Javi Baez, blue background, Chad Green, Fields, Gaddis, Verlander. Three dollar declined. Interesting. Arano, Defoe, Scribner, Peraza, Kluber, Gahara, Sal 
Stanton, Crone, Turner, Darvish. It is always a mystery what seems to uh, set some people off. I understand sometimes, you know, there's the principle of the thing, but what exactly is the principle of getting upset about donating $3 to charity? Bell, Future Star, nice. Pinder, don't feel like we've seen that card yet. Addison Reed. Corey Kluber, All-Star. Derek Holland, Foyle. Aaron Judge, Chavez, Wood, okay, Nelson, and Barrios. Stevenson, Chopiano, Nishik, Thames Walkoff, and Perez right afterwards, Gold, Seeger, and Robles back to back. These have not been numbered, but they are different colored parallels. Morant, oh, Moranta. Montgomery Price. Well, we get the feeling of being supportive. I know for a lot of us that's good enough. Speaking of, there's a nice Otani base rookie right there on the top. My goodness, I can't believe it took that long to get to that card. So we got a couple of nice Otanis, Jonathan. Very nice. Gomez, Rios. Adam Jones, home run challenge, a little late for that. Chipper Jones, Aaron Judge, black background. <laughs> Chris Davis, Robertson, Bryant, Gomes. Three packs to go. Are we being greedy, also wanting a bat down on the same night as a one of one? I don't think so. Minter. <clears throat> Al Alcantara. Mets. We got an Alonzo autograph. That was nice. Dynamic Dodgers. Barry's favorite. Trey Turner. Pedroia. Cahill. Ellsbury. I would like to see a bat down as well, Kevin. Okay, Melancone, Snell, Robert Rathman, the well-timed joke, Hernandez, Torrens, Mejia, Goldie, All-Star, Judge, Duvall, Familia, vote, void, void, vogged, vached. One of those was probably right. Montero, Barry jumped on the Prism train to Money Town. Kohler, hopefully. Cabrera, Young, Ryan Braun, Trey Mancini, Rickard, Zimmer, Thompson, Herrera. The bat down eludes us. 
but I'm still going to say Jonathan had a very successful night, and he did pull this gem, which is pretty special. The, the SP of this dealio right here. We got an SP. We got a one of one. We got a Pete Alonzo autograph. We got a Nolan Ryan relic. We got an out of 50 Aaron Judge. I'm going to call it a success tonight, Jonathan. Actually, success all day. Make sure to get all this. We got a stack of inserts, which is pretty awesome. Jonathan, I can't say it enough. Thank you very much. I feel like you definitely, you definitely helped me. Um, been wanting and needing to get rid of that National Treasures box, and I hope that uh, it paid off. I'm glad to see that you got cool stuff in it. Yeah, Barry. Barry, you got these as well. These two things. Okay. Um, Tom. Hopefully Tom is still. Still around. Okay, Tom. So Tom, you were gonna do you were gonna do two of the two of the 2018 holiday boxes. Are you are you feeling you feeling frisky? You wanna get get down with two boxes, Tom? Okay, let me go grab your choices. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready for game time, uh, Dwight. So after this, if we're still going to open some packs, I'm I am set up. We're doing we're doing four. Tom caught the fever. Doing it. It's going to get good. I can almost guarantee that we're going to see an Acuna bat down. Uh, 
Okay, so we're going one and two, three, four, and six. Pretty sure I read that situation correctly. This is cheating, Barry, but for you guys, I will stack the deck for you whenever I can. All right, Tom, tell me how you would like me to go about this, and we will get to it. You want a good old fashioned ripathon? We can do that. Exactly. Well said, sir. Got it. Pull all the packs, then open them. Sure. Like I said, guys, this is all for you. So if you want me to read the names or not read the names, if you want me to rip them all at one time or go box by box, I, I honestly, I, whatever makes you happy is what I'm going to do. So, Tom, you've got carte blanche. You tell me how you'd like me to do it, and that is what we will do. I don't know. I know it's getting late for you guys. Maybe you maybe you don't need uh, the cards flipped through uh, as slowly as maybe I do sometimes. We're not hit hunting necessarily, so, you know, we don't need to flip through them, but uh, at, a, at a crazy pace. I also know that at a certain point, we've seen all the cards, so maybe you're kind of like, yep, 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 come on. Do we have any input from the peanut gallery? We need Mrs. Gore to open a box. Mrs. Gore is handling the uh, bedtime duties at the moment from a pull them and go decent pace. Gotcha. It is that time of the night. Um, I'll tell you, she is very hesitant, I think, to get on in a uh, in a live in-person capacity. But I'm sure we can twist her arm. I will say most of this is riding on um, Dwight's cookies whenever they get here okay here we go she definitely is and i definitely did get lucky no pun intended jacob de grom albie's rookie smith Martinez got our first upside down one six three. Some of you guys need to dust off your knowledge of this product. She gets to say the basketball names. Well, that's definitely not going to happen. So we got a Willie Calhoun rookie, and this is metallic. Stratton, Castellanos, Azuna, Bregman, Miles Michaelis rookie. Easy, easy family show, Barry. Jeez. First, the bat and ball relic. Olsen, Abreu, Bell, Mejia rookie, Healy, Mustakis, Andrews, Verdugo, Guriel Jr., and Braun. Hopefully, this is the decent pace that you are referring to. <laughs> Springer, 
Fowler uh, had a big meal. Merrifield happens to lots of guys. Hamels got a Tim Anderson. Will it be metallic? It will be a Tim Anderson metallic snowflake. We are good with the speed. Strasburg, that was a nice card. Didn't want to glance over that. Kluber, Crawford, Moncada, Myers. Okay, Cooper, Granderson, Frankie. Nice Ichiro, Votto. Devers rookie, Nola, Percello, Manea, jerk, Austin Hayes rookie. Villanueva, there's a Tim Anderson Bay card, to Renfro, Javi Baez, never seen that card. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. This isn't just any Acuna. This is the metallic snowflake version. Tom, you done did it. The Acuna. I know it's not the same bat down, but it is an Acuna. It is bat down, and it is a metallic snowflake. Congratulations, Tom. Good karma strikes again. Tom was ready and willing to also help me out with the National Treasures. Jonathan stepped in a, a split second beforehand, but credit where credit is due, he was ready and willing to help a brother out, and uh, that goes a long way. Acuna bat down. Very nice. <clears throat> Frazier. Granky, $80 card works for me. That's awesome, man. Congratulations. Syndergaard, Upton, Maurer. That's awesome. Say it again. Congratulations on that, and thank you for being ready and willing to help, man. Um, the mantra of it's the thought that counts uh, is alive and well with that one, sir. Kingery, Gossman, and an Evan Longoria relic. Oh, it's a bat relic. That's always cool. Gotta love a bat relic. Bat relics, they should just make all relics should just be bat relics. They're just the coolest. And if it's going to be a fabric, it needs to have a pinstripe or part of a seam on it. Story. <clears throat> Hernandez. JV. Martinez. Alex Gordon. Tanaka. Freeman. Frazier. Otani, rookie. Got a Hunter Renfro, metallic. Archer, Cody B, Smoke, Brinson, and Ryan Zimmerman. Definitely feel like I got to know a lot more about the Nats uh, during the postseason. So there are interviews and highlights and whatnot. Sano, Scope, the Glaber Torres. It's a, a decent card, worth a few bucks at least. Machado, Aaron Judge, another great one. Hater, Rendon, no Nats player. Cabrera, Paxton, Inhat. Man, that. Acuna Metallic is going to be a tough act to follow, Tom, but I will say it kind of puts you on cruise control for the rest of the boxes because you already got one of the, if not the biggest card, Darvish, Crawford, Lopez, Kingham, Michael Conforto, 
Metallic. Nice. Uh, good question. Polanco, uh, Betts, Fowler, Sale, Andahar. We haven't seen any yet, um, Tom, unless by SPs it's less of the uh, Christmas themed style SPs and more traditional SPs. But I don't know that I've ever heard anyone talking about them, so I'm going to have to go with no. Final answer. Brantley, Gordon, Altuve, but there might be. Fam, I just don't know. Solaire, Newcomb, Bruce. There's a sweet Mike Trout, Ryan Dozier, and Charlie Blackman. Somebody out there has got to know, right? SPs in 18 Holiday. And we have an answer. Thank you, Barry. We got Chapman, Bogarts, another Chapman, the right one this time. Davidson. Ooh, everybody loves the Ichiro card. We got an Ichiro Metallic. Segura, Correa, Weaver, Kennedy, Kiermeyer. Keep that Chapman. Tom, thank you. I will say that I definitely have a hard time uh, turning down a gifted Chappy card. Current Gold Glover, by the way, once again. Thank you, Tom. He had some kind of crazy statistic where he, like, uh, I don't know. He was just, he was significantly higher than everyone else. I can't think of if it was like runs saved or something like that. I'm sure one of you statisticians out there could figure that one out. Dickerson. Oh, yeah. Bauer, Longoria, and Matt Olson, not to be um, overshadowed. Gold Glove again. McCullers, Molina, Justin Bohr, Scherzer. Shaw, Doolittle, very nice, and Lester. I'm sure that having Matt Olson on the other side of the diamond, uh, scooping balls out of the dirt, uh, has probably helped Matt Chapman um, to keep winning these gold gloves. Matt Kemp, Bonaldson, Santana. There's a Victor Robles. Followed by a Jordan Hicks rookie metallic. Good point. We have yet to see Mr. Soto. Williams, Pedroia, Piscotti, Mancini, Severino. Barry, is it your wife that's got the, the Piscotti connection? It's not like I remember hearing that. Castro, Murphy, Bryant, no, okay. Tylen, somebody had a, my wife likes Piscotti, but it's because of the last name. Contreras, Soroka, rookie, nice one. Stanton, Pollock, Barrios, nice. Rizzo, we better hope she's not watching this. Barry's going to have paper mache baseball card material. Dubal, Kimbrel, Chris Davis, Robbie Ray, and we've got a Joey Votto, Metallic, nice name, Santana, Dahl, Cano, Garrett Cole, and Jordan Hicks, rookie. These boxes definitely don't disappoint when it comes to quantity. Cespedes, coffee creamer is the way. Kinsler and an Eric Hosmer. Looks almost like a camouflage 
um, section of material. So Eric Hosmer Padres makes our second relic. Alan likes it. Maida, Calhoun. And there's your Acuna, minus the metallic, but all of the awesome. I will put him with his metallic friend over here. Conforto and Batista. Now we just need a Soto. Where are you? Buxton, Hamilton, Margot. Anderson, Maeda, Metallic. Yep. Gregorius, Gray, Cruz, J.D. Davis, and Jack Flaherty. I'll tell you right now that it would be jump up and down awesome if we can pull a Soto Metallic Snowflake. That would just kind of complete this night of awesomeness. Followed by a Zion autograph later on. J.A. Happ, Kershaw, Mazzara, Keichel, Tyler O'Neill, Seeger, <clears throat> Ruff Oder, Perez, Snell, the Mauler. Okay, Arnado, Seeger, Encarnacion, Posey. We have Christian Villanueva, Metallic. Lucchese, Fulmer, Hanniger, Swanson, Rosario. A pretty legit stack of holiday cards building up here, Tom. Taylor, Gallo, Thames, there's Bryce Harper, still acceptable with his Nats uniform, Goldie, Lamb, Romero, Schwarby, Marte, Ramirez. Let's go in this direction so I can give myself a little more room. Okay, so Tom, this is into box number three. So we've got a, another relic or auto coming. Andrews, Verdugo, Guriel Jr., Ryan Braun, Strasburg, Donaldson, Santana, Robles, Castro, Murphy. Got Kluber, Crawford, Mancata, Will Myers, Garrett Cooper, Metallic, Bryant, Tylen, Contreras, Adubel, Kimbrel. I can go faster, I can go slower, I can keep on cruising at this pace for hours. Devers rookie, Nola, Priscillo, Manea, Dick, Hayes, Davis, Ray, Cespedes, Kinsler, Buxton. Okay, Frazier, Granky, Thor, Upton. Sean Doolittle Metallic, I think. Yeah, Doolittle Metallic. There's a, a well-placed Metallic for you, Tom. Hamilton, Margot, Anderson, Hap, Kershaw. That was a nice one. We're getting, we're getting closer and closer to uh, Soto. Maurer, Story. King Felix, Verlander, Martinez, Mazzara, Keuchel, O'Neal, Arnato, 
Seeger, Soto, now. Alex Gordon, Archer, Cody B, Smoke, Curtis Granderson, Metallic, Encarnacion, Posey, Taylor, Gallo, Thames. Brinson, Zimmerman, ooh. Well, as far as collectible names go, Tom, both a Nat and a huge name, a Bryce Harper relic, still on your team. That's a very nice hit, sir, followed by... Bryce Harper, ace card. You can't make it up. Goldie, DeGrom, Albies rookie, Dominic Smith. Very nice. Sometimes I forget that when we open the old stuff, Harper's going to be on the net. Okay, we got Hader, Rendon, Cabrera, Paxton, John Lester, Metallic, Martinez, Olsen, Abreu, Bell, Mejia. Uh, Lester. Is that what you meant? Lester Berry, got it. Buried in pack wrappers. Hold on. Done. Nice of you, sir. Ian Hap, <clears throat> Polanco, Betts, Fowler, Sale, Healy, Springer, Fowler, Merrifield, Hamels. Okay. Andrahar, Newcomb, Jay Bruce, Mike Trout again, nice. Ooh, Frankie Lindor, Metallic, a nice name. Cooper Granderson, Frankie again. Ichiro, Votto. Well, we've only got... I guess one Acuna out of three boxes. So I guess this isn't that weird, but well, I'm already wrong. Well, I guess I'm not wrong, but you'll see. Ben Attendi, Arietta. Wow, right off the bat. And look at there, Tom. Another perfectly placed hit for the fan. Four boxes and two of your relics are quite literally two of the biggest names you could have possibly got. This is perfect. This night is perfect. And this community is perfect. Cole, Hicks, Maeda, Calhoun, and this bum, another Acuna holiday. I hesitate to keep calling it a bat down because it doesn't have the same meaning, but uh, it's him. He's got a bat. It's pointed down. Acuna to Jonathan. Look at Tom go.
Tom, uh, Jonathan might have uh, slipped off to bed, but I will make sure that um, that he gets that. Thank you, Tom. He will thank you himself, I'm sure, when he becomes aware of it, but he's probably sleeping. Well, that doesn't mean that the karma gods are sleeping. So, Soto, here we come. You definitely killed it on the relics. Soto time. Jones, Sanchez, Pujols, Kane, Cody Bellinger, Metallic. Stuck to the next card. Kind of weird. So the Cody Bellinger Metallic, that's a nice big name to get. Conforto, Batista, Gregorius, John Gray, Nelson Cruz. It's going to happen. Cisco, Chapman, Bogarts, Chapman, Davidson, Davis, Flaherty, Seeger, Odor, Perez. Dickerson, Bauer, Longoria, McCullers, Dickerson, Metallic. Always nice to see the name over again. Snell, Mahler, Lucchese, Fulmer, Hanniger. Yachty, Kemp, Donaldson, Santana, Robles, Swanson, Rosario, Lamb, Romero, Schwarby. I hesitate to ask, has anyone actually seen a Soto come out of this? Castro. Murphy, Bryant, Tylen, Smoke, Metallic, Marte, Ramirez, Stratton, Castellanos, Azuna. Four packs to go. Second time around. Has anyone seen a Soto? They are on eBay. Awesome. Thank you, Barry. Contreras, Herrera, Kimbrell, Davis, Ray, Bregman, Michaelis, Stockus, Andrews, Verdugo. Cespedes, Kinsler, Buxton, Hamilton, Trevor Bauer, Metallic. Ariel Jr., Braun, Strasburg, Kluber, Crawford. Two packs to go. Margot, Henderson, Hap, Kershaw, Mazzara, Moncada, Myers, Devers, Nola, Porcello. Here we go, Tom. It all rides on this pack. Keichel. O'Neal. Arnado. Seeger. Brinson. Brinson stuck to somebody. It's the metallicness. He stuck to this turd. Austin Hayes, Frazier, Granky, Thor. Well, we got skunked on the Soto, but you probably got one of the biggest hit cards that you could have possibly got. 
the metallic snowflake acuna jr and a base and a third one just for kicks that you gave away and you got two nats um relic cards those are awesome hey shalini longoria bat relic and eric hosmer relic so tom despite the disappointment of no soto you did strike it big with the acuna so congrats on that and tom thank you for uh being willing to do what you were going to do, I, I will not forget that anytime soon, sir. And I'm not just saying that, but I'm sure that you know. <clears throat> well, Paul, you take it easy. Shane, take it easy, too. Yep, it'll be here. Um, but for me, it's only 8 o'clock, which it's still the uh, it's still the evening on a Sunday. But that doesn't mean that um, I forgot about basketball. And if Dwight has not forgotten about basketball... We could do some basketball. Shalani, they were uh, they were a surprising hit. Um, I will I will give them that. All right. So that was all of the all the stuff that had been um, paid for ahead of time. Yeah, they went pretty quick. Uh, Dwight, are you still hanging around? I don't know if you had to check out. But if Dwight was ready for basketball, uh, we can do some basketball. If Dwight does not want to do some basketball, James is here. Oh, James, that's right. You want to do basketball, too. Uh, James. James, sorry. Sorry, James. I forgot that you'd said that. Um, James, what uh, what tickles your fancy? Did you want to do um, the packs, blasters, both, 15 of each? Uh, you want guarantees? What would you like to do, James? Okay. So James, I'm not um, I'm not putting these up here to uh, twist your arm or anything like that. I'm just putting them there so you'd have choices. Um, okay. Oh, okay. I see it. Okay, let me grab my pencil real quick. Okay, so James, third from the left is that one. Um... 
never really know what to do in this situation. Do you just want me to to open it? Um, and then if you if you decide to do more, you can decide later. Uh, what? Uh, how would you like to do that? Let's open it and see how it goes. Okay. I like these. You get the guaranteed guaranteed pinks. I'm excited. Plus, I've got a cheat sheet now. So James, we're going to we're going to know things about people. All right, James, here we go. Okay, Colby White. Uh, I don't know if you know this, seventh round or seventh pick overall. That happened. I just spit that out. I'm knowing things. RJ Barrett, number three in the draft. That's right, buddy. Spitting hot knowledge. Also teammate of Zion. Just throwing that out there. Carson Edwards, number three, Purdue. Kevin Porter. He's a junior. His dad has the same name. Knowledge. Basketball knowledge. All right, Shalini. Once I impress James with all of my basketball knowledge, we'll still be here opening packs. Ooh, got the Cam Reddish. Tenth pick overall in the draft. This is an interesting story. This Rui Hachimura, ninth pick overall, but first Japanese player drafted in the NBA. First round. Amazing story. Terrence Mann, number 14, Florida State. And R.J. Barrett, three overall, All-Americans. It is a nice card. Uh, that's a good question, Shlaney. I've never, I guess, never really tried to figure that out. But that would be an interesting thing to uh, to find out. All right. Romeo Langford, Crusade. Kyle Guy. Jackson Hayes and Matisse Tybul. Tybul. eBay cards. I would think PayPal might have something like that. It seems like they should. All right. We need the pink. Okay, we got Tremont Waters, Brandon Clark, and Jordan Bone rounds out your pink. Not too bad, James. A lot of names I now am aware of. Go ahead and pull some of these out for you. And from what I've been told, I need to put sleeveys on these. Well, I will just be here sleeving up these cards of all these first round draft picks.
These pink cards are nice looking, by the way. They all feel like they might be like a 55 point card. All right, James. James is back. The cards are sleeved. Everything is right in basketball world right now. Okay, James. Barry Kay, have a great... Well, I guess it's pretty late. I'd say have a great Sunday evening, but we've already passed that. Have a good start to your week, and I'm sure we will be seeing each other soon. Fourth from the right. One, two, three. That would be that beauty right there. James, have you done any uh, eBay researching for uh, what some of these cards are going for? Not really, no. It sounds like they were uh, pretty ridiculous, which, I mean, is awesome as a collector. Then you and I are in the same boat, only you probably know more about each of the players. But I know when I see Zion, and I know when I see this guy, and I won't bore you with the same tired joke, but there's another Rui. Jalen Noel, Tyler Hero, another uh, another hot rookie card. What was he? Number 13 in the draft? Yes, he was. And Tremont Waters. Make sure I didn't glance over if that was uh, silver. It was not. Contenders is junk. Well, I will steer clear of that. This, this might very well be my only foray into basketball, but uh, it'll be fun while it lasts. Keldon Johnson, Bruno Fernando, Brandon Clark, Jordan Bone. Uh, we got something in here that's shiny, James. Jalen McDaniels. And it is a Jackson Hayes, and I believe this is the silver. So you got a silver Jackson Hayes. Very nice. Get that sleeved up for you. Silver is good. That is what I have been told. Nasir Little and P.J. Washington Jr. That's another good card. 12th number all. 12th drafted over all i used to be able to talk um about four hours and 20 minutes ago and we're going pinky let's hope not stinky cam reddish there's a nice one right off the bat number 10 there's a Rui. another good one and Romeo Langford Crusade. So you got two big ones out of the pink pack, James. The Rui and the Cam Reddish. Hopefully you are happy with those at least. I know they are not RJ or Zion. Another Rui. We got a couple Rui Hachimura cards tonight. Tyler Hero Crusade. 
Nice little dabble in basketball tonight, James. Waters, Clark, Jordan Bone. There's an R.J. Barrett you got earlier. Kobe White, Rui there, Cam Reddish. There's another R.J. Barrett. Rui, Hero, Jackson Hayes. Rui again. You got a lot of Rui cards tonight. Oh, sorry, Romeo. Missed a sleeve on this fella. Well, James, thank you for... Thank you for giving me a chance to open some of this. Um, I'm starting to uh, to catch the prism fever. So appreciate it. All right. It's late for most of you on a Sunday. And we've opened a whole bunch of stuff. Prism is fun. Um, I don't know what I enjoy more, the uh, the packs or the blasters. But I will tell you right now, guys, I'm not going to run out anytime soon. So whenever the mood strikes it, we've got it. And I do also have more of the 2018 Series 2 blasters coming. Um, so if you didn't get enough, we've got that. A couple of holiday boxes. <clears throat> and then I do have a lot of the Topps Chrome Mega Boxes. And all those stuff we talked about breaking. Uh, James, while you're here, because I know you you do enjoy a good break, was there um, one of the products? I know you wanted to break that Ginter box. Um, was there any of the other ones that I showed that interested you? And the one I didn't show was the uh, 2018 Heritage High Number. Um, obviously, a good call for Soto rookies and Acuna and Otani rookies. Um, you let me know uh, what might interest you. And then we have the optic um, case as well. I just kind of need to know where to where to aim for as far as uh, making posts and whatnot. Uh, by chronicles, do you mean optic? Because I don't have any more chronicles. Oh, you left. You didn't see all the, the different boxes. Optic. Optic is the one with the hot boxes in there. I might make a post about it and um, and then let you guys kind of tell me how you'd like to get a chance at each box. You know what I mean? Because you definitely want to get a chance at the hot boxes because there are four of them in that case. <clears throat> All right. With that being said, guys, it is what 11:30 for most of you. Two packs a person would be 10 people. 24 packs. All right. Let me do some math on that and then uh and then we'll make that happen. I like that plan. <clears throat> Would it bother you? Because it's five packs in a stack. Um, Alan, are you are you question marking uh, what we're talking about? I can go over it again if you want. James, would you what would you think if I took all of the packs, all 20 of them, and just kind of like put them in a stack and you got two, 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 two? Because otherwise there's going to be five packs in the stack. And that would become kind of awkward to try to break. Okay, Alan, so what we're referring to is um, I just bought a case. I bought a case of 2019 Optic. Um, and in the case, there are four hot boxes. So the obvious goal here would be to make sure that everyone gets a chance to get cards out of each of the four hot boxes. Um, you know, if somebody told me they wanted to buy a stack in every single box, that's their prerogative. It could get expensive though. But if we did two packs from every single box, you would get um, you would get packs out of every single box. And then I guess you could always buy 
James, I guess if a person wanted to buy four packs out of every box, they could do that too. Yeah, I'd randomize each box. They're not in there. Uh, it's not tops, right? So they're not in there in the same spot or anything like that. I think I, what I would do, James, I would open a box, take the packs, and then you'd get your two. Um, and then we can go for as long as it takes, or we can do, you know, a couple of boxes a day, whatever, whatever the case is. I would think just do it all at one time, but we've never opened a full case of anything before. I don't know how long that would take. Okay. I'll work on, I'll get a price then for you guys so that it becomes a more concrete reality and, uh, then you have options. So hopefully that sounds good. Um, and with that, I think now's as good a time as any to uh, to call it a night. Uh, we've had a huge weekend, and I've got a lot of sorting and whatnot to do. So I need to get on that, and you guys probably need to get to bed because it is Sunday evening. All right, Alan, good night. James, good night. Everyone else that's still listening, good night. Thank you very much for all of your support. Um, I can't say thank you enough. But I sure as hell will try. Oliver, thank you and good night, buddy. Um, I appreciate all you guys are doing. And uh, I can't wait to see you again. All right. Take care. Good night.